So red flag. Oh my gosh. Between their religious values and their physical desires. I thought, and pardon my naivete, I thought that maybe by being flirtatious with them or like at least engaging with their sexuality, I could help them be less self hatey about it. I, <laughs> I want to have this conversation with a dude of some kind because I've worked with somebody like Vosh and I was so relieved when I didn't have to work with him again because he was incredibly difficult to work with. Sometimes I look at these groups of men that we're all so allegedly concerned about, like incels and men who aren't in relationships with women. And I'm sorry, but sometimes I think that they're all Voshes because again, like it's the entitlement, right? So I feel like Vosh is so entitled and that entitlement is in my mind, what sets somebody apart from being a normal person who just wants a relationship and a pest. It's the entitlement. I was thinking about this, like, is it the entitlement that really just grinds my gears? And I think it is. And then the obvious infantilization. So I know a few people, okay, 99% of the people that watch my videos on Vosh, 100% get what I'm saying. Um, some people couldn't see the nuance, which is totally fine. But for the few people that genuinely think I'm defending Vosh, I don't know how you got that, right? But what I am saying is because a lots of women have dealt with lots of Voshes in our lives. And when we deal with a Vosh, we just kind of write them off as like pesty and ignore them. What am I supposed to do with him though? Right? Like what am I supposed to do with him? So I worked with this autist once, late thirties, had to live with his parents. He could hold down a minimum wage job, was a college graduate, but couldn't seem to function in many social situations. He's a, he had a really hard time communicating. So I'm working with this man and I'm trying to get him to understand why he keeps getting out, kicked out of social groups. And a lot of the time it's because he brings up sex or makes advances towards women that are inappropriate. And I'm like, hey, you can't just stare at a woman's breasts. He's like, well, I'm not doing it on purpose. I was like, okay, you still can't do it. And you got to train yourself not to do it. Or he would say something that's like super inappropriate. Like, I really like you in that top. That kind of seems neutral. I really like you in that top. But he's not saying it like a, like a, a girl. He's not saying it like a gay. He's not like, girl, we love the top. Yes, girl, boobs, girl. No, he's like, I like you in that top. It's like, okay. Mm hmm. Something is off, right? That's what Vosh reminds me of. Vosh reminds me of the autist men who are the creepy autists. So there's mean autists, like Reddit autists. There's incel autists who are just angry and weird. And then there's creepy autists that like have no sense of barrier. And I'm not really convinced it's their autism, but I do think that plays a role because I look at them and I'm like, why don't you know not to say that? And they'll say like, well, I like they will be a part of literal autistic groups and get kicked out of autistic groups because like they just don't understand what they're supposed to say. And it's the most fascinating situation I've ever been in. Like I said, when I worked with this autist, I was incredibly relieved when he decided not to work with me anymore. I was so relieved. Like he was so exhausting. He eventually uh, ended <laughs> our time together because he was complaining that people of color, specifically black people, weren't speaking proper English. And I was trying to explain to him like, that's their culture and relationship with English and it is perfectly fine and understandable and it doesn't have to be proper. Most people don't speak proper English. And he was like, well, that's not what it is though. And that's inappropriate. And then he was also a person who would be upset that his parents were ableist. And he was sort of like a SJW autist who also only wanted sympathy for himself, but not for other people. And I began to think, okay, maybe he's just narky or maybe he's just entitled. And he reminds me so much of Vosh. And so I was thinking, okay, what is it about Vosh? Obviously it's the entitlement, but what makes Vosh or this guy different from somebody who like chronically cheats on their partner, right? Or chronically hits on high schoolers or chronically dates people 25 years younger than them. Like what are the differences? Obviously there's some nuance, so there's so much difference. And at the same time, I wonder if it's the sense of entitlement, <clears throat> you know? I wonder if it is that sense of entitlement that really sets them apart. Because obviously, you know, if you went to somebody who serial cheats on their partners and you said, um, do you see yourself as somebody who breaks women's consent, that you break sexual consent? They'd be like, what? No. No, why would you say that? And I'm like, well, because that's what you're doing. Right? That's literally what you're doing. But they wouldn't, they wouldn't think of themselves that way. If you went to Vosh and said, do you think of yourself as a pest? He'd be like, what? No, of course not. And I'm like, but you're obviously a pest. If you went to this autist that I worked with and I said, hey, do you know you are absolutely self-sabotaging and you are 100% the reason you keep getting kicked out of all of these groups? 
He'd be like, no, they just don't understand me. And so I'm like, okay, what is this? Is this entitlement? Is this autism? Is it like a, a victimization of self? What is it? Because obviously if you go to people and, and you know, I understand it's hard to face yourself. I really, really do. But sometimes I wonder, okay, again, like what are we going to do with these people? What about the incels who are like every single woman that sees me is disgusted by me? Okay, that's obviously mental health, right? But these men go, it's just women's fault. Okay, so am I supposed to invest in that man? Or am I supposed to like ignore them? So then I go into problem solving mode for society. So in society, I would say mental health, they all need therapists. And people would say, Brittany, you're being too sympathetic. They don't need therapists. They like need to be ignored. You can't just ignore parts of the populace. You have to put them somewhere and do something with them. Did you know that in order to keep children safe many people said smex offenders should shouldn't be able to live near schools which caused a lot of the smex offenders to be homeless which actually caused an increase in smexual attacks against children because now they didn't have homes to like isolate themselves into so again i think the road to hell is paved in so many good intentions where people say like oh i want to like help the world suffer like less so let's suffer more in some weird way or let's not suffer at all which in a way causes you to suffer more so again i think it makes sense that you would say i don't want smex offenders near schools i agree with you but we certainly don't want them homeless either because that means they can't be tracked we don't know where they are if they have a house they're less likely to leave that house you know there's so many other reasons to think about housing the homeless or housing smex offenders or housing somebody as also a plus for society right and then I think of a Vosh type of character. Should Vosh be saved? Should incels be saved? Should we give a fuck about lonely men? Right? Like, should we give a fuck about lonely men at all? And it's like, well, to what extent should we care about lonely men? Because if you care about lonely men, you got to care about Vosh. Or maybe you could say, I don't care about lonely men like Vosh. Then I would agree with you as well. Throw them out. Bye-bye. But at the same time, what do we do? So again, I'm asking society, what is your goal? And I was also reading up on some smex offender statistics today. And specifically in Australia, they've done a lot of studies on this. And they said that the biggest misconception of people is that people who are smex offenders towards children are PDF files, which is not true. It's about 30%, 25%, depends on what study you're looking at. And not every person who harms a child is a PDF file, which is what my point was with the Vosh discussion. I think the issue we're having is that people think, oh, well, this makes sense. So this must be the answer, which is a mistake. Oh, gay people and trans people are committing unaliving at a higher rate. It must be because they're gay and trans. No. Like, I know that sounds correct in your head, but no. And you know what's ironic is <clears throat> the same communities that's, that feel like I'm too judgmental towards cheaters, which I think are consent violators, right, feel like, I'm too lenient on people for being accurate in my categorization, which is like fair because that's your bias, right? But it is an interesting idea of like, okay, what is happening here? Perry says, also to be clear, Vosh is not an incel. Um, as far as we know, he might be. Is Vosh getting laid? Vosh seems to get rejected by every person he hits on. You know, you also said when it comes to Vosh, the biggest issue is his lack of shame, which I think is different from ego and entitlement. Good point. Shame is interesting too. Because shame, the way that I describe shame, the way my therapist taught me about shame and guilt, because that was a huge part of the borderline recovery in DBT, was shame is breaking the expectation of your culture and guilt is betraying the expectation of your own personal values. So does Vosh belong to a community in which he would even experience shame or does he adhere to his own values enough to feel guilt? And I think there's something that, that there's something there, right? I do think there's something there. Kenny said it's sad that they're autistic, but the half of the reason that autistic guys didn't want to learn slash change was because of his ego. I believe that too. I think ego plays a huge role. And also how you're raised and understood by the people around you. I don't know what Vasha's relationship is with his family. I know a lot of men who infantilize themselves or can't get better. And look, as somebody who's dated plenty of people that didn't want to change or get better and blamed everyone for the reason their life sucked. Yeah, sometimes like people are a lost cause and it is what it is, right? I really do think that. I think some people are just a lost cause and like I ha I don't have time for it. I need to invest in more resources. But if we're going to have conversations about helping men, especially lonely or single men, you have to understand that maybe there's a reason they're alone. Because other like to call yourself an incel, 
to call yourself a fem cell to say like i'm gonna put a title to my loneliness you are basically saying like you are non-functional in so many ways so you need mental health help you need resources you need like you're not normal something's wrong with you right normal people just say i'm single i'm single ready to mingle i'm single i'm chilling right so if you're gonna identify your whole existence around being a partnered person you're either suffering from cultural expectation or mental health. Is Vosh just a pest? He's obviously a pest, like 100% a pest. But what kind of a pest is he? We're just gonna jump right into these messages and try to ascertain what's Do happened it. in the past, what's gonna happen going forward, okay? Good luck, guys. So this is Vosh harassing a girl named Poppy in Destiny's uh, community years ago. And I think this is like proof that he is a sex pest. And if he doesn't understand why this was so inappropriate, like... Did you wanna to talk to me as to what is inappropriate for me to say to you? Please do answer quickly and be forward. I never intended to upset you. This is always good. When we're talking to people and we're trying to have people being, um, we're trying to engage somebody in a sexually explicit conversation. It's pretty good to figure out like what are the boundaries, right? Whether you want to be, um, I yeah. accidentally pinged Mr. Mouton today in the Discord and I just want to say I'm sorry. Sad face. Nice. Thanks for interrupting us. Okay. Um, hold on. I'm not to make you guys sorry. You're fucking obnoxious. <clears throat> okay. The response. I don't know how you make me feel. Maybe just tone it down a bit, especially the sexual stuff. So personally, I think that when you're establishing boundaries, I think that it's very good to be very explicit. Um, if somebody's asking you about what's appropriate or inappropriate, then I think that um, responding with, I'm not sure, is usually not the way to go. But the ending stuff makes it pretty clear. If we're reading this, like, okay, they're not very comfortable with, like, the sexually explicit stuff. Cool. That's a, This is, like, pretty pretty clear, okay? All right, I will. Thank you for being candid. Feel free to talk with me whenever you'd like. It's a good response. I hope you aren't upset with me. Um, I don't really like this. I don't think this is a good reply, but okay. Um, because I don't think you should never be upset about setting boundaries. Don't ever be upset about setting boundaries with somebody or worry that they're going to be upset. It's totally within your right to establish whatever boundary you want. <clears throat> I'm not, but I will refrain from being flirtatious in the future. Better not to mess with these things. I don't like the way that this is phrased because it makes it sound like you're taking something away from them establishing a boundary. That's what it sounds like, right? I hope you're not upset with me. I'm not upset, but I'm not going to... So just to be clear, okay, um, there's back and forth between Vosh and this girl. And at the time, he's known as... Um, what was it? Laddie? Shoot. Now I forgot the name already. I zoned out. So basically, this is kind of conversation where they're making it clear. I don't want anything inappropriate. No sexual stuff, you know? And he's like, okay, for sure. I'll stay away from it. Okay. I'll fight with you anymore at all, right? I don't like that. That feels a little bit accusatory, but it's not the worst thing. It's not the worst thing in the world, but eh, you know. <clears throat> I just don't do well <clears throat> with really sexually explicit stuff. It kind of embarrasses me. Okay. okay, so then the girl goes, I don't do well with sexually explicit stuff. It embarrasses me, which is, oh, Irish laddie. Thank you. Thank you, Irish laddie, which I... I kind of am confused about a little bit, like, why was it phrased that way? Like, I just don't do well with sexually explicit stuff. It kind of embarrasses me. I feel like that they are probably just worried about being unliked by Vosh instead of thinking, like, it's okay to have boundaries and you don't have to explain yourself, which, to be fair, a lot of us have to learn the hard way. But I would say right here, this is like an opener for incredibly socially inept people to think this is an opener. It embarrasses me. Now you've allowed vulnerability to come in and now a dumb male brain will think I can fix this. If you're not embarrassed anymore, you'll wanna be sexual with me. And this is the, again, using, okay, the type of creepy autists that I know and straight men that are con like convinced, if they just convince you, you'll sleep with them. Oh, you're a lesbian? Let me just show you what a real dick does, you know? I feel like they hear this from a woman like, oh, it kind of embarrasses me. And their stupid male brain goes, oh, if I don't, if I make it so she's not embarrassed, she'll want to fuck me. And I feel like Vosh is this kind of person. Vosh is the kind of person that hears this and goes, I can fuck her if she's not embarrassed. My brain goes, oh, yeah, for sure. Let's just not talk about it anymore. Your stuff. I don't want to deal with it. That sounds like therapy stuff. If if sexual if sexually explicit stuff embarrasses you, that's none of my business, right? Like we're not, I'm out, right? So that's 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 the thing. Who are you talking to, right? Okay, it gets worse. It gets worse. Okay, cool. That's fine. Sometime in the near future, I would like you to clarify what you meant when you said, "Don't know how I make you feel." If that's okay with you. So it sounds like we're kind of like flirting a little bit. Like, well, what do you mean you don't know how you feel? Like, can you tell me about that? Okay. Yes, not tonight, maybe, but I will be logged online all afternoon tomorrow. After Sometime in the new f future, I would like you to clarify what you mean when you said you don't know how I make you feel, if that's okay with you. Kind of could be flirty. Another socially inept thing is like, I just don't know how I feel, how uh, I make you feel. It's like, oh, what does that mean? Like, what does that mean, right? Okay. So this is like, Vosh is like, he wants to know like, how do I make you feel, right? Or he's being autistically like, how do I make you feel? I don't know. 
I, I don't know. Like, is Vosh like saying, um, or is he, he wants to keep the conversation going as well, right? So he's like, I don't know how I make you feel, which could be, see, he's, he's like making it weird, you know? And so she says, yes, not tonight, maybe, but I will be logged in all afternoon tomorrow after church. So she's a church girl. Stop flirting with her in the DMs, bro. After church. Sounds fair to me. I eagerly await an explanation. Whew. A little bit eager, but okay. Oh my gosh. Yes. Hannah says it's people pleasing behavior, which is totally understandable, but it's also not direct enough for idiots. Yeah. People pleasing behavior is the worst because people just try to get around that. And men in some cultures are taught that if women are people pleasing, they make better girlfriends and partners and that you want to break down their barriers and you want to push them a little bit so they can quote be chased and then you win the prize. So there's a lot of layers of cultural um, influence coming into this, neurodivergency coming into this, and then just sex pestery, right? Can I just be forward with you? Yes. So, so okay, right, hold on, hold on. Right there, can I just be forward with you? No. He asked, can I just be forward with you? And she said, yes. And it's like, no. <laughs> no, like, he's already being weird. You've already shut him down sexually. When a man says, can I just be forward with you? Now he's going to ask you a more personal question. See, this is why I think I don't have autism because I know this, but I only know this because I've read thousands of books and I've watched tons of dating shows and I actually, I like consume interpersonal relationships, right? And I still think I'm right a lot of the time when I read flirtatious things from men and they're like, that wasn't flirty. I'm like, oh, this isn't flirty. Can I just be, maybe this is my autism. Can I just be forward with you? Once a man says that with me, I know it's something sexual. There, no man needs to preface a conversation about politics or anything else with, can I just be forward with you? This is going to be about sex. Okay? This is going to be about sex. Obvious you find me cute. Feeling is mutual. You also on some level. So then he goes on to say, okay, it's obvious you find me cute. See? It was about smex. Level. Do enjoy my sexual advances, though they do make you uncomfortable. I don't want See? See? Oh, you do enjoy my sexual advances, though they do make you uncomfortable. Mm, on some level. It's like psychological fucking like... Fucking, I don't even know, CNC shit. I don't know what's happening here. But see how she should have just said, um, if it's in relation to adult activity or sexuality of any kind, absolutely not. I don't want to have that conversation with you. But like, I'm going to make you uncomfortable, so I won't make them anymore. That being said, what do you want moving forward? Okay. This is our first. This is our first major yikes, okay? What's the name of the thing? I want the bar. Where's the button? Fuck. Good point, Maiden says, I know this too, and I am autistic. Just saying, good point, good point, good point. Good point, bro. Mantis says, I'm a recovering people pleaser. It's difficult to learn that shit. It is. And also Hannah says, this would make you want misandry flare up. Girls, let's not be misandrous, but I know what you mean. And I do think it's okay to be a little bit misandrous towards this category of men, towards the sex pesty men, because this is the kind of men that just make me so like, ugh, off men. I just don't even want to be with men. What, but it's, it's the kind of sex pesty pe Vosh is. And it, I fucked up already. What is he doing? It's too late. I don't care anymore. Anyway, we're at major yikes number one, okay? It's probably not a good idea to tell somebody else what they enjoy sexually. Um, if you really wanted to phrase this in a way that gets the same point across without it coming off as highly combative, right? Then something along the lines of like, I get the impression that you enjoy the sexual defenses, but I feel like they make you uncomfortable. Or um, something along those lines is better because then you're kind of rephrasing it like, well, this is how I feel about this particular thing. Um, and I understand they make you uncomfortable. It's way better than telling somebody, I know you like these advances. <laughs> I know you like it. I know you like it. Um, that's like a pretty, ooh, that's a pretty yikesy. That's a pretty. And by the way, this is another reason I wonder if autism plays a role, but even more than that, remember that non-autistic men are taught to push past women's boundaries in order to chase them. And there is a group of women that do like this kind of social flirting. I don't, you might not, but there are people who like it. And so again, when I, when I think about how this converse, I can't tell if Vosh watched neurotypical men learn how to date. And he's like, I could pull that off, which he obviously can't. Or if, or if uh, neurotypical men are hitting on the right kinds of women who will see these advances as cute versus like when they don't. That's why I say like when they're like generally speaking, women like this kind of dating. It is absolutely cultural and very specific. I don't think, especially as times have changed, many women like to be pushed past their comfort, like comfort level after they've explicitly said, I'm not interested in you. But some women might, right? Fishy says, um, wait, was that you, Fishy? Yeah, made my misandry flare up. I mean, bro, 
added pest yesterday. Pests be everywhere, bro. Pests be everywhere, you know? So again, like, remember that, like, who is the group of men? How are they communicating with these women? And Vosh is, obviously, I can't tell if this is Vosh specific or if he saw somebody and he thought this is how you do it. Vosh obvious, obviously thinks highly of himself, which is probably part of the problem. Not good. Pretty not good way to kind of take what somebody's feeling and then kind of uh, project your own thing over it. It's not, not good, I would say. Um, it's not good. Don't do that. I like the idea of having more debate slash discussions. I want to talk about my interpretations of theology with you. All right. I'm not sure how well, I'm not sure how well I'll be able to engage with those discussions. Mm, okay. Whatever. We can find other topics, I'm sure. I won't lie. I'm very curious as to your thought process on my sexual advances. See, I'm- <laughs> Can you tell me about my sexual advances towards you, bro? That sex pesty. That's what I mean, bro. She already says she didn't want to have sex conversations with you. Why do you keep bringing them up? I think it's a little autistic. Or if he's neurotypical, it's the way that men have been conditioned to push past women's boundaries. And I'm telling you, those things are different. So the why is different, but the outcome is the same, right? never been inhibited. It's difficult for me to imagine the mind of someone simultaneously intrigued and uncomfortable. Okay, if somebody has already established that they are not comfortable with explicit sexual conversations, it's probably not a good idea to like press on it like really hard. Don't lean into that super hard because it's clear that they're already uncomfortable. They already told you they're uncomfortable. Why would you keep prodding in that direction? Probably not a good idea. Wolf says, I honestly think some sex pest dudes are just horny and haven't gotten laid in a long time. I mean, I think that's a part of it as well. It depends. That's the thing. So as we watch Vosh and or we watch Steven de decipher Vosh's messages, that's why I have to ask you which category is he in. See how H3H3 H3 was like, Vosh is a PDF file. We're just watching a sex pest in motion. We do not know if he's a PDF file. That's why I'm saying it was a total, like, you guys should be more concerned that Vosh is a sex pest because him being a PDF file, I, we can't prove that. You know what we can prove? Sex pestery. So that's why I get annoyed with these groups that are like, they go right to the most extreme thing they can't even prove. And I'm like, why go there when you can just prove it with this, bro? This is much more interesting. Like I say, I want to be a cowboy in the West and it's like 50% a joke, right? It's supposed to sound silly, but if I was an actual cowboy, that would be awesome. It's not an uncommon kink. No, 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 no. Um, <clears throat> There's still a valid reason to believe it sounds nice. God damn it, person. You are so open to innuendo. Your language- It's not an uncommon- I like, I want to be a cowboy in the West and it's like 50% a joke. Huh? She screams for it, but my hands are tied. We can talk about marriage on stream in the future, maybe. I need to collect notes slash sources, but it sounds like a fun topic. Oh, between you and I? I'm afraid I'm already in a relationship. Hold <laughs> on, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this is all Mr. Moon's fault. I'm sorry, okay. Hold on, wait, wait. Let me ask one Okay. Oh, between you and I, I'm afraid I'm already in a relationship. That would legitimize our communion, though. Clever. And then they respond with, no, I mean as a concept, because you are a marriage abolitionist, correct? Mm-hmm. No barriers. Speaking of, gotta do some communion. Um, you mean like the Eucharist? I think you know what I meant. I think I do. I meant sex. <sighs> Ladies, I'm talking to you now. What are you doing? Why are you keeping this conversation going? What career? What amount of money? What is worth this to you? Genuinely, it's not about victim blaming because he's already a sex pest. It is about you from your perspective. What is worth of this? What is worth this uncomfortability? What is worth this conversation? And I've been there in my 20s. You have to learn the hard way. Oh my God, I've been so socially awkward so many times in my life. So, so relatable. But like, what is worth it? So for me, it's like socially awkward situations. I told my husband a story yesterday about one of those situations I had. And he was like, holy fuck, maybe you do have autism. That is so weird. I was like, bro, I just didn't know what to do. I froze. Like I socially froze. I just, I was so confused. He goes, that's so weird because you would never do that now. I was like, oh, now I would just leave. If a man put me in that situation, I would just leave now. But then I was put into a situation with a man that I just didn't socially know what to do. And so I was like, this is weird. But now I would just fucking leave. So the question is like, when, like, this is the thing that will happen in your life. You will be an adult and you will learn to socialize and you'll be in a situation you've never been in before. Right? And you will have to ask yourself like, okay, what is happening here? And you'll have to ask yourself and have a conversation with yourself and be like, this is weird. This is what I think is happening. The dilemma is like, this is so blatantly inappropriate. This is so blatantly inappropriate. But does either party know it is? The girl isn't stopping it and Vosh isn't stopping. So that's the dilemma I'm having. It's like to Vosh's sex pesty brain, he's like, she's inviting me in because she hasn't blocked me. It's working. And to her brain, she's like, oh my God, what do I do? Like, why isn't this stopping? And it's because it's not stopping because you're not blocking him, basically. You know, it's like you have to block people. They're they're so inappropriate. Like people, some people are just, 
they brain dead and they don't know, bro. You know, it just, oh my gosh. Ooh. Jamie says, some people are afraid to hit the block button. I just door slam. It's hard, but it's needed. I, I know, I know. It is hard to block people because you're like, oh, maybe I'm reading the wrong, maybe, maybe I'm reading the situation wrong and I, I don't want to give up an opportunity for collaborations or, oh man, like I just don't want to miss out or, or maybe I, I judge this person incorrectly and oh my gosh, like I'm thinking something so bad about them that's not true. But it's, you know, it's mm, just block them or tell a girlfriend or reach out to a friend you trust and say like, hey, is this weird? Like, I don't know what to do here and then block him. Um. Yeah, so like if somebody is already established, they are not comfortable with these types of conversations. Oftentimes we use humor as a means to kind of like test how another person feels about like a certain sexual uh, situation. I do this a lot. I think that this is a really, um, I think that using humor to test boundaries is a pretty good way of getting how somebody feels or something. However, one, you don't do it after they've explicitly said that they're not comfortable with it. And two, you have to be receptive with how they interact with that humor. And if they don't, if they're not receptive to it at all, then you have to back off. You have to realize like, okay, well this person's not very receptive to this. Like, let's back off. Like, yeah, that's probably not, there's probably not something they're feeling, right? Um, and then the, some of these oh, are, and by the way, this is how I know my brain works totally different. Cause once I get a clear rejection from someone, it's like gone. My attraction to them completely disappears. I don't even look at them like a sexual entity anymore. And Vosh's brain didn't do that. She rejected him and his brain went, kum, 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 kum. If somebody rejected me like that and was like, Hey, I do not want to be sexual whatsoever. My brain would just go whoop. His brain didn't do that. Why didn't Vosh's brain go whoop? Why don't lots of men's brains go whoop? What is that? Now, some people do. I'm not like saying all men, obviously. But there are a group of men that their brain hears a no and they think try harder. She said, no, I must try harder. And I'm like, why are you doing that, bro? What the fuck are you doing? Why? Why are you doing that? Totally separate conversations. Did you win? <clears throat> Um, okay, so the other person that is maybe the target here is, did you win? And then the person responds, oh yeah. Were you boxing then or was it just an ad hoc fight? I was boxing at the time. Fishy says, has your brain always been like that? As far as I can remember, yeah. I don't, one, I don't chase people. I don't got time for that. Two, um, I feel like, oh, they're just not into me. And so that would make me feel really gross to pursue that if they are not into me because that feels really ugly to me. Um, so as far as I can recall, yeah, I always feel like once I get rejected, I go, oh my gosh, because like, I just feel so icky. You know what I mean? But the rejection also like, there are situations where it's like sexually questionable. You're not sure the rejection is part of a game. I mean, I've dated in a lot of bubbles. So if I'm dating in a bubble, like again, the whole conversation around consent is a completely new phenomenon. Nobody asked about consent before, right? Everyone was taught in movies and dating circles, like consent wasn't something you asked for. When I started asking people for consent, I was seen as a weirdo. And I'm still kind of seen as a weirdo for it in certain dating bubbles. So obviously, like, I've dated people or had flirting, like, flirtatious moments with people where, you, you know, you guess wrong. Maybe you're flirting wrong. Um, but remember that I've grown up in a completely different era. When I was a kid, there wasn't even the internet. So, I mean, flirting and dating and doing all these things, every, every, I swear, every five years, something, it's like a new vibe. You know what I mean? So I'm sure we've all been like, like cringe or made mistakes or misunderstood a message. But like, if it's clear, if it's like, I'm not interested in you, I'm like, oh my God, I'm sorry, bro. That makes me feel horrible. Like, ew, I'm so sorry I did that. My bad. I'm after I won, I fucked his girlfriend. No way. No, that's part of joke, but it'd be hot, huh? Um, Sheldon says, do we know how old she is? I don't know. And I, I think this is from 2017 or 2018. I'm not, I'm not sure either. And the reason Steven is like blocking out their names for now is for privacy. But later it gets revealed like that it's Vosh and stuff because Vosh comes on stream to like talk about it, Huh? which by the way is so cringe. I've been in no straight fights. You are rather small. I'm 5'11". I'm really tall. I'm not small. I've seen your body. I could, among other things, snap you in. You are rather small. I'm 5'11". I'm really tall, not small. I've seen your body. I could, among other things, snap you in half. Ugh. Listen, in a consensual conversation, this could be very attractive to somebody, but not in a conversation where somebody already said they're not interested in you. In half. Okay. Man. Yes, Steven. Tell him. We're really going hard, okay? We're really going hard here. Gotta tone it back. We're actually way past... All right, I'll try to put it as neutrally as possible. I don't actually support bestiality, but I find it very hot conceptually. I love big cocks, horse cocks. Oh, I thought it was Whoa. That was a lot. Oh, my God. I'm... Oof. Okay, Vosh says, all right, I'll put it... I'll just put it as uh, neutrally as possible. I don't actually support bestiality, but I think it's very hot conceptually. I love big cocks and horses. And horse cocks are as... Are as big as they can come. Pretty nice looking, too. 
why are you having this conversation with somebody that rejected you? <laughs> it's what a pest. What a fucking This is a sex pest. You wanna know what a sex pest is? This <laughs> being so horny and cock-hungry that they turn into an animal to sate, to slate their carnal desires or interests is very hot. Like the idea of you curiously touching- so This is like, this girl goes to church. Don't tell women who go to church these things. Or stroking one. Curiosity driven by very raw sexual interest. Okay, you- Right, we're way past- I think I'm just repeating myself now, but we're way past the point of like, the person said they're not comfortable with these types of sexual conversations. Why would you keep going? Ah, I mean, you shouldn't touch a horse like that. It's pretty clear that this person is not like engaging back. Like, I don't think this person has sexually engaged with the other person in any of these conversations, right? Like, they've been pretty clearly like staying away from it. No, of course you shouldn't. You can fantasize about it and talk about it. Oh, I get it. But I'm sure you get what I'm saying. Talking about it gave me a semi. Okay, that's all right. I already. F Bro. Bro. I get it, but I'm sure you get what I'm saying. Talking about it gave me a semi. Okay, that's enough. I already feel like I pushed her boundary. Bro, you pushed her boundary 20 billion years ago. Bro. Oof. Oof. Stuff like this makes me never want to have sex again, bro. Oof. Mm, oh. I feel like I've pushed your boundary. You know I think you're attractive. Thank you. And you me? I don't know. Wow, rude. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know I'm handsome. Every inch of me. Of course. Plum. Wait, great. Plum. <laughs> Plum. <laughs> it's an eggplant. I know I'm handsome every inch of me. Of course. Eggplant. What was this girl thinking? Discord said this is all so gross. Bro, it's so gross, bro. Everything about this makes me... What a pest. See, this is what Ethan... I think Ethan maybe went over this. This is the stuff that's really, like, pesty. You know, it's not even what he's talking about. It's the fact that he's violating boundaries. You know what I mean? Bro. Plum, right? This is a plum. So do you unironically want dick pics or... No. All right, cool. I'm very ashamed of my penis. No. Oh, my God. Uh, he said, so do you unironically want dick pics or... And she goes, no. And he goes, all right, I'm cool. I'm ashamed of my penis. And then she says, no, I'm sure it's fine. Like, what could possibly be wrong with it? Bitch. Girl, sis. This is why you need women in your life. Sis, sis, sis. Girl, 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 girl. When a man... Is talking about his penis. Do not ask questions about it. Block him. Do not say, what could be wrong with it? Don't you see how that sounds like an invitation? I swear everyone's autistic in this conversation. She's probably has autism. She's probably autistic, right? He literally says, I'm ashamed of my penis. And then she went, uh, like, what could be wrong with it? Girl, you're, you should have blocked him. Like every, that's what I'm saying. Now he's going to justify it in his head that this is a conversation where she's asking him about his penis. Do you get what I'm saying? So she put down a boundary. He pushed the boundary. She let the conversation keep going. Oh, what? Discord says, I honestly, I think Vash's brain is actually in his dick. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Oh. This is crazy. Ingrid said, this is so autistic. Bro. Bro, I'm telling you, both of them are being so socially inept right now. Like, both of them are so socially inept right now. Both of them are failing every, like, block. He's about to send her a dick pic, isn't he? Bro. Bro. This is insane. Oh, Gunster says, I could be wrong, but I think she has some mental issues. I remember even Vosh saying that. Well, that's even worse. Now he's targeting a mentally ill person. I mean, obviously, Vosh is mentally ill as well. Obviously. He says, who is this girl? I, it's just a random, this is Vosh and Poppy. They're, they were orbiters of destiny or at least, uh, I'm sorry, not orbiters. That's the wrong word. They were discord members at some point or Reddit members. So this is the discord. Um, but I don't know who she is. I don't know what she looks like. I don't know where she is. I have no judgment towards this girl. Just like for, for girls listening. Okay. Just cut it off. If a man makes you uncomfortable, he is not worth your fucking time. Cut him off. Well, I'm sure it's fine. Like what could possibly be wrong with it? Oh, nothing. It's actually pretty great. Glad to hear that you care though. Oh, it's an eggplant. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Bro. Okay. Why did you sexually harass whoever? Went over literally all of this yesterday over voice chat. Nice meme. It's not a meme. I'm mad about it. Then you should have been there in voice chat. Wait, why did you sexually harass blank? Went over it literally on yesterday over VC. Nice meme. And then she says, it's not a meme. I'm mad about it. Then you should have been at VC yesterday. I'm still fasting until the night. And then I had power outage. Is she like religious, like Jewish maybe? 
Um, I think Jews fast, right? Or no, I mean, Catholics fa fast too, but I don't know what, maybe she's fasting. I don't know. That made me think of religion. Um, so basically, Vosh is accused of sexually harassing somebody else, question mark. And she's mad about it. Again, like, block. Yesterday. I was still fasting until the night, and then we had a power outage across the area. And then they're pasting logs from another conversation. This is what the sort of things you told me sounded like. Are you suggesting I sexually harassed you? Oh, so Vosh is sending multiple women. To He's a sex pest, bro. We knew this day one. He's a sex pest. So he sent similar messages to other girls. And then she, see, this to, a, uh, to, to Vosh brain might sound like she's jealous. This is what, this is the sort of things you, you told me sounded like. And he goes, are you suggesting I sexually harassed you? Or he's going to, ooh, in this case, get defensive and say, I don't know. I didn't think so, but it seems very plausible you'd say those things to someone else. Ooh. I don't know. I don't think so, but it seems very plausible you'd say those things to someone else. You can believe what you'd like. You're the last person I'd want to discuss this with. Why? Can we You're the last person I'd want. To Is he a narcissist, bro? Oh, I know we throw that word around forever. Are you... You're the last person I'd want to discuss this with. Bro, you literally were talking about your, your dick with her the other day. See how he's like, he's like um, negging her. He's like insulting her and like belittling her. And that way she like begs for attention. Ooh, I hate, ooh, this category of human is the worst. Men or women are non-binary. This is the worst category of person. Vosh is like the worst category of person. He's just like, ooh, he makes me so mad. Ooh, you can believe what you want, but you're the last person I'd want to discuss this with. Ooh. See how she begs him? Can we talk about this sometime today? Literally block him. Why won't you block him? What is so interesting about this man? Can we talk about this sometime today? Maybe. Please? Why do you want to so badly? I don't know. I just want to. He literally got her to beg for his attention. I hate him. Oh my god. Worst category of person. Dude, I'm sorry. Seems like you've already sort of taken someone else's side on this. Maybe, but- Gunster said, just looked it up. Poppy was autistic. Vosh said this in his Reddit. Oh, great. So two autists try to have a conversation. But like, he's giving me, he's giving me narc vibes, bro. I don't think about narcissism. I'm not a therapist. But from what I've read, there's something in this that makes me go, oh, he's gaslighting her. He's like manipulating her. He's negging her. Mm -mm. But I haven't talked with you about it, so I don't know. Oof. Okay. I think there are more logs related to this. Okay, hold on one second. Damn. Damn. Okay. Do I, Mr. Ryan, do I want to read all of these? <laughs> I haven't gone, I haven't vetted these yet. I don't know what journey we're about to go down here, okay? Oh, God. Good luck, guys. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, maybe she's trying to get information. Maybe so. If you think she's trying to do intel? <laughs> okay. Good luck. I really, really think you should meet this. You should meet this a campus counselor pronto and tell them how you're feeling before you make any decisions. Can you do that at least? I will, yeah. I mean, in my undergrad, the lowest two marks I got were 68 and 72 because I was dealing with this shit before. I never had any grade lower than 85. My GPA was blah, blah, blah. She's really bad. I was getting coffee and some nice dude tried to start a conversation with me and I snubbed him because I was surprised. I didn't know no, no. So they're talking about school and like regular people stuff? To say. Then I walked away saying, haha, but I realized how easily I could continue the conversation. You could be literally getting fucked right now. You could be on the table with your legs spread and eight inches of strangers dick scooping you out, but instead you snubbed him honestly huh <clears throat> well i i hope this makes you feel less good about attending classes i guess what could i derail this topic and ask you something personal sure sorry i was reading something no worries well there's no real way for me to ask this without coming off as a dude bro and i recognize this comes from a place of entitlement but it really does quite confuse me why are you so disinterested in being flirtatious with me i suppose i'm just pest what a fucking pest oh what a fucking pest bro steven was so right for blocking vosh from his community never mind i don't want to talk to vosh he's trash bro actually no i do want to talk to him and ask him why is he such a sex pest bro I used to things going my way in that regard i know you like me fine as a person because we talk pretty often and you clearly trust me in spite of my lasciviousness um lasciviousness 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 i'm not sure what that word means and i know you're not entirely sexually disinterested in men i also know i'm generally pretty sociable and charming i'm not offended or anything He's so autistic. How does you go, how does this not read as autistic? This is autistic and probably narky. You can be an autist and a narc, guys. I hate to tell you this. Damn. I just like to understand why this is the case. 
I'm just a very asexual person at this point in my life. I have very narrow sexual interests. I don't find like, I don't know. I just really don't like men that way. I need to masturbate. I'll turn one out at some porn, but I'll turn one out to some porn, but I think maybe having sex with like, or being with people, being sexual with people, individuals okay. doesn't appeal to me. So she's ace. Yeah, oozing entitlement. Same, Kay. He's so anti, I hate entitled people. I mean, a year ago, I was very receptive to men, I guess, and nothing has really changed between now and then in the grand scheme, but I've gotten a lot more stress and focus, etc. Well, I can't really say I get it, and I worry that I sound disingenuous. So men are a low priority, since I'm a hornball. My libido has really decreased in general, I think, due to stress. I understand that. Mine has too, though obviously mine could be a lot lower. I guess I just feel a little bad that I repulse you in that way, even if it really has nothing to do with me. Okay, so I kind of want to talk about like the kind of like the flow of this conversation. Um, it's really important to understand that emotional manipulation can happen without somebody necessarily intending it. Um, so when I'm saying that this might be a manipulative, I don't necessarily mean to say that the other person is cognizant of the manipulation, but this kind of like juxtaposition between you either want to fuck me or you hate me is a really common strategy that people that engage in emotional manipulation abuse. So for instance, if I message a girl and I'm like, hey, how's it going? And they're like, oh, I'm pretty good. I'm like, so, you know, what are you wearing? Did you like take a shower today? Are you dressed yet? And they're like, um, I don't know. I really don't feel comfortable having this conversation. And I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, like, if you just don't want to talk anymore, just tell me. Like, if you don't like me, if you hate me, or whatever, that's fine, right? That idea where you take a behavior with a response where they're uncomfortable with something you've said and then you make that as oh okay well you either have to give into my prior demands or you really don't like me and you hate me and generally the person on the other side doesn't hate the person usually they would um usually they want to be friends with the person so they're stuck in this weird area where they're kind of being gaslit into th into thinking that they've told the other person to hate them where they're like oh fuck like am i really telling him i hate him like just because i don't want to like engage in these like kind of sexual conversations which is why i say like look i'm open to having so much compassion for the neurodivergency for mental health for online chronic relationships for so people who are socially awkward like i want to be so compassionate but this is why I say, like, go after people for things they've done, not for things you think they're doing, right? Go after people for things they've actually done and not things you think they're doing. So again, Vosh, this is a great example. Consent violation, sex pestery, uh, very inappropriate conversations with people, just complete violation one after another, right? And so, like, this is a great example of, like, Vosh is obviously an incredibly inappropriate and borderline dangerous person now he might not physically hurt you but he's emotionally going to gaslight you he's going to fucking neg you he's going to convince you it's you you need to block this man and he's going to rewrite the history to make himself sound so good we didn't oh just oh just mm. okay so again go after people for what they've done not what you think they've done to make it sound you don't need to make vosh sound worse than he is he's pretty fucking bad Okay, now I've met, like I said, a few people who fit into this category, be them men or women, and they are never going to have your best interest in mind. They're always going to play the victim. They're always going to justify it. And they are going to like use, um, because look, a perfectly decent person who has like anxiety would maybe think like, oh, I don't want this person to hate me. Um, Well, maybe they have like an abandonment issue. Vosh is creating the abandonment issue in this person. He's literally manipulating the situation by negging her, right? It's like a manipulation tactic. And I bet he watched some pickup artist or he watched some bullshit person. You know what I mean? Um, use this tactic and he thought, okay, I'll use this now, right? Like this is how I'm going to use it, right? Absolutely, right? Oh my God, crazy. Stations, right? Don't do that stuff. That's really, 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 really bad. Um, I, I, don't think that's, I don't think that's a good thing to do. Um. <clears throat> Um, hope you've been okay, bud. I'm just reading through some of these. I haven't read these before, so I don't know like what's good to read or not. Sorry. Hope you've been okay, bud. Yeah, things worked out the other day, and I'm not a sick. Still skipped morning class. How's your day going? Oh, you'll be happy to hear I obtained tier five nudes from a bumble chick. What is the fifth tier? Psh, you don't even know what five tier is. Come on, is it highest or lowest? Second highest. I was hoping you'd ask about the tiers. What are they? Yeah, but you didn't feel my ego by pressing for answers. I'm not one to really press. So I see. Anyway, as far as I see it, the tiers are, and then graphic explanation of all the tiers. And then again, okay. If you're engaging in like pretty explicit sexual conversation and the person doesn't engage with it in any way, size, shape, or form, it should be pretty obvious that the person is probably not engaged with this conversation, probably not interested in continuing this line of thought. So all of this leads to, did you sort things out with your girlfriend? I don't know um, what the other person said. And they said, that's good. And they go, it's still room to improve. You're not even proud of my tier five acquisition. I'm just so is it the time Vosh had a girlfriend then? Is that this time that Vosh had a girlfriend? You know what's interesting about this? Again, it's like, why is she continuing to talk with him? Like, maybe she's trying to help him. Maybe she's trying to see his perspective. Like, if I'm working with people, like, if they're a caller or something, of course, like, I'll make it, like, we'll talk about boundaries. But she's not mentioning boundaries once. She's not making it super clear she's, like, uncomfortable. Like, she is and did do that. But why isn't she, like, I wonder what goes through her head. But you guys, like you said, people-pleasing plays a huge role into this. Absolutely. So interesting that she, like, wants to keep it going, I think. You know what I mean? I'm going to assume, you know, I'm not a pedo and not pretend to act offended. 
I don't know. Suspicious of all dudes. Unappreciated. What? I don't appreciate the suspicion. It's default, to be honest. All Maybe she's scared. I think she's definitely afraid of losing the contact because I think she wants to work with him. But I also think, and this is maybe like a very controversial point, I don't think any money, any job, any collab is worth like your sense of value. But if you don't know what your values are, then you're probably willing to do whatever it takes. Like for me, again, I feel like if I'm a Hollywood actress and it's basically like suck this director's dick or you don't get the role, like fuck that role. I don't need that role. But some people are like, oh, like I had to suck his dick to get the role. And I'm like, well, you didn't have to suck his dick. You just didn't have to need the role. But you could have also exposed him. You could have gone to the news. You could have accused him. But you were willing to suck his dick to get the movie role. And I'm just saying like, I would just like go public with it. If a, if a person literally, because like you've already lost the role. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if somebody's saying like, I don't get this movie role unless I suck their dick. I've already lost the movie role because I'm not going to suck your dick. So I'm going to go tell the news. You know what I mean? But then people are like, they can't just tell the news. Maybe this is minor divergency, but I don't understand why you wouldn't just go public with the story or just get out of the industry. I don't know. I don't like it. It feels weird to be like, oh, well, I want this opportunity. I don't know. I don't fucking like this. All the same. Um, my stalker is in DGG Discord. Not even kidding, my dude, please. Okay, so she has a stalker in DGG already. Uh, what do you want me to do about it? Also, I'm still cross with you. Nothing. I just freaked out. Ye, well, dudes lie. I thought sex just sucked for a long time to my current boyfriend. No wonder you're such a prude. I'm not, though. So now that we've brought the sexual tension up to it. So now he's negging her again. But she's confiding vulnerabilities in him. That's such a weird decision. She must be fucking traumatized as shit, bro. Which is fair, right? Go to therapy. Like, this is, yeah, this is like, this is like, obviously, like, well-adjusted people aren't having these kinds of conversations where they're constantly violating their own boundaries. She's literally engaging with him after he already, like, suspects. So, so from her perspective... She's concerned he sex pested another woman and is continuing to engage. He, she already has a stalker in DGG, but is engaging with him. He makes her uncomfortable and violates her consent, and she continues socializing with him. So obviously, like, mental health all around, right? Wait, simmering level in here. I know what you're thinking. What? I was actually thinking about how Trump has made another deal with Pelosi. Holy shit. I know you want to see it. Okay, so brought up politics, which is kind of like a neutral topic. But you're a spiteful fuck, and I know you'd share my dick pics around, even though it's in the exact upper spectrum of your preferred dick size range. Dude, what the fuck? No, do not send me a dick pics. I'm attracted to look at. They simply feels good. Okay, so no, don't send me a dick pic. See how he brought it into conversation. Good man. Guys, we are on levels of aggression that were previously thought not possible, okay? This is weapons grade level sexual aggression against somebody that is clearly not reciprocating an interest, okay? So bad. Yeah, obviously. You'd send it around. Prove to me I can trust you. Oh! <laughs> the emotional manipulation. Did he say that? Prove to me I can trust you? Oh. This, what a piss. This is a sickness of the highest order. This is ridiculous, bro. To try to get nudes. It's, a, it's possibly effective, probably morally not good. Um, Send me nudes so I know I can trust you. Don't do this. Do not do this, okay? Don't do this. Don't do this, okay? So bad. No, I wouldn't because I'm principled and that's called revenge porn or some shit. But A, I don't want to see that shit. B, ergo, I won't prove shit to you. C, if you're so proud of it, then why don't you go show it to the rest of DGG? There are probably game gamers in there who want to see it more than I do. In spite of your behavior, I'm confident you enjoy these bands. My behavior? Bro. Not responding to my semi-serious flirting. Disgust to me. I guess I misinterpreted signals. My bad. Ah, oh, by the way, I do find your g general an antagonistic attitude endearing, but I should not flirt with you. Am I reading that right? <clears throat> well, either way, at least um, I'm at least as bad as reading signals as you are, so let me know. Yes. So do we think Vosh can be saved at this point? Is this Vosh being a sex pest? Yes, Mikey. This is Vosh being a sex pest. He needs to go to therapy. Like, this is going to take so many years of therapy and philosophy and so many things. Oh, he's such a little sex pest. And he's like an adult. This is like an adult. I mean, he's not very old, I think, at this point, maybe. he got to be in his 20s, right? Oh. So you could trust me with your nudes, but I don't want to see them. But yeah, I would never leak someone's nudes. And not really. Please don't flirt with me. I really do appreciate your willingness to share this with me. But remember that okay, my current that was nudes really good. Please don't flirt with me. And not really, please don't flirt with me. Block him! Girl, he's already violated your consent at least two, if not more times. Block him, girl. Block him! Can you imagine Discord gives us all the power to block and we don't need it? We don't use it, I mean? Oh my god. I'm not really going to be able to be very supportive or comforting. Um, wait, hold <sighs> on. Yee, I'm a busy gal. Too busy, but whatever. Here's a dick pic to keep you company through class. Wait, fuck, I had the selfie cam on. Oh no, well, whatever. Uh, I think Vosh is, uh, here's my theory. I don't know. Okay, this is why H3H3 is so, like, inept um, in so many ways. I could be wrong because I can't read his mind. 
It's not that Vosh is a PDF file. I just don't think he probably is statistically, but he is obsessed with the power dynamics, which makes him a sex pest, which instead of being a, a, a medically diagnosed PDF file, which is very specific, he is probably more likely going to be a very specific kind of rapist, if anything. But more than that is the step before that, which is like the highly manipulative, highly gets off on being the smartest person in the room. So he also would need his victim to be smart enough to feel bigger than, which is why I'm not convinced he's technically into children, but I do think he's into feeling the power and feeling. So I would accuse him of possibly being much closer to like, a sort of like power hungry rapist than necessarily. And again, a PDF file doesn't necessarily mean child offender, but either way, he's a pest. It doesn't even matter. But just with these logs in general, I don't know if he's gotten therapy for this. I don't know if he's even questioned himself about it, but this is obviously a problem, you know? And says, well, the question is, if you're a sex pest at 20, does it extend until you're 40? Well, I don't think once a sex pest, always a sex pest, but I do think if you have a psychological desire to be more powerful than other people, you probably have a larger personality disorder issue happening or something a lot more serious. I'm not a therapist though. So we'd have to get a, we would have to get a professional to evaluate him and they, they might not even be able to diagnose him, but obviously like I, I can't say once a sex pest, always a sex pest. You know what I mean? But I would say there's something to indicate because of his ego that he might not, he might never be able to face himself. So like he might never actually, he might just be an incredibly fucked up person either, you know, cause remember this person was a kid at some point. So was he always this way, even as a child? Did he grow into this person? Was he conditioned this way? Was he raised this way? Did he, does he have a tumor sticking in his brain, hitting up against his, like, the question is, is like, why is he this way? That's what I want to know. Why would you be this way? Um, Yikes, so then we have a picture. Um, if you send me a dick pic, I'll block. I thought you were going to ignore them. Answer you should have just blocked in the first place, girl. See, if you send me a dick pic, I'll block. You should have blocked him forever ago. To me thought, my parents came over. Yo, Rashad in the chat. Hi, Rashad. Oh, well still, are you not trying to ignore them? I'm fucked, they haha, -ha, or they have my full docs. That doesn't mean you're fucked, how do you know it? Because I read, ah, oh, I'm not going to bother you about this anymore. You don't take it seriously. Can I ask why you say that? And to be honest, it makes me feel very, very, like, small and horrible. The way it's supposedly not a big deal or a huge joke, so I'd rather not. Well, no, you make assumptions about me. You make assumptions that it's abnormal. I don't want to have sex when it's completely 100% normal. Plenty of people do like me, just never in real life. Like, I talk to multiple people frequently, blah, 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 blah. Look, what do you want from me? You have come to me and to the chat on multiple occasions to complain about such seek advice concerning your difficulty making friends. Don't bring up a problem and say you don't give a fuck when, when people offer advice. I know ugly, mentally ill people who have made many friends. Quit making excuses and accept you have the power to improve your attitude and outlook. I have no respect or sympathy for people who don't work to improve themselves. Man. Vosh is wild, bruh. <laughs> Maybe in some contexts there are pieces of this that could be good advice, but man, this is a very, like, what, like adult to child. That's what I'm saying. The fact that she keeps coming to him for advice, this is why I think he might be a narcissist maybe, and especially, again, I'm not a therapist, but there's something where he gets off on knowing she's coming to him, and then it really, narcissists do really attract really low, um, low, uh, low self-esteem, very vulnerable people. And she seems very low self-esteem, vulnerable. She's like begging for his uh, approval, even though he's violated her consent multiple times already. And then of course, like he's not a good enough person to just tell her, like he treats her so poorly. Ultimately he's the villain. And that's the problem. A good person would hear the vulnerability in this woman's messages and give her healthy boundaries. Like the, the right person would, would listen to her say, I don't want to be sexual with you and never bring it up again. The fact that Vosh not only continuously violated her, but then twisted the narrative to convince her she's the problem is literally why he's what I would call in Britney's value, like Britney's world, Britney's values, a very, this is a bad person. Like it, it's very hard for me to say that because of course I know we're all like avail uh, animals evolved over time. I don't know why he's a bad person. I don't know if he's always going to be a bad person. But this is very bad. Like, this is bad. This is That means from his perspective, he doesn't see her as, like, he's not, he doesn't care about her in any capacity. He gives zero fucks about this person. And because of that, it makes him a more likely dangerous person than a safe person, you know? Sort of, um, if we get into, um, oh, God, what's the name of that bullshit psychology? 
So transactional analysis, is it parent to child or adult to child? I think this would be a parent to child interaction, right? Um, this is a very like talking down to you, kind of helping somebody out. It's very hard to take this position while you're simultaneously trying to like shove your dick into their DMs and get nude from them at the same time. Uh, man. Yep. You, uh, yep. man. Yeah, you got to um, wow. You apply normal people standards to someone who's severely mentally ill and berate them for not being able to adhere to them. Like, no offense. I and my entire friend group are mentally ill. Now you're being presumptuous. Not in the same way that I am. Very obviously so. Possibly. I and my entire friend. So Vosh says, so she says, you're, you're treating me like a not, like a not severely ill person. And then he goes, my whole, my, all my friends are mentally ill. <laughs> Myself included. <laughs> Go to therapy. Oh my God. Can you imagine a bunch of people being like, we're all alcoholics, and then being like, should we go to AA? Nah, let's not do that. You're able to have a friend group. There is a huge schism there. Literally, I feel like this conversation is like, oh, we're all alcoholics. Should we take shots together? What is happening? Look, I'm tired of this. You came for advice and I gave it. It was well. Gunster says, do you think Vosh knew at the time while chatting with Poppy that he was doing a bad thing? He was definitely ashamed of it afterwards. Not necessarily. Like, I can't know that, right? But I would say that the fact that Okay, so obviously Vosh wasn't raised with values, doesn't have values, or has very, very low values. Because again, just a reminder, she already said, I don't want to be sexual with you. And then he proceeded to talk to her sexually. So what makes a person do that who doesn't know that they're doing it? Well, it could be a sense of autism. Because again, I've worked with men like this, where like no matter how many times you tell them like you're being inappropriate, they keep doing it. But it's not like they're grapists. It's like they can't help it. So then you have to wonder, okay, are you addicted? Is it your autism? Is it your hyper-focus? Is it like your distractor? Like, what is it? And then, okay, that's why I'm always interested in why do humans do what they do? Because I don't think we're going to solve the world's problems by pretending we know if we don't really know. So again, I don't think Vosh, I don't think I could know what Vosh is thinking. But I would say regardless of him knowing it or not, he is without a doubt being a bad person, whether he knows it or not. And then whether she knows it or not, she is absolutely enabling his bad behavior. And so the, the difficulty is instead of dismissing both of them, we can acknowledge that he is victimizing her. She's allowing herself to be victimized. They are absolutely enabling each other's bad behavior. And then they are trying to still make something interesting come out of this, which I think, to be fair, when you're really toxically mentally ill and you're going up and down with things, it's like a chronically serial cheating couple. It's like a couple that's together that cheats on each other. One time, like the first time they did it, it was like heartbreaking. Then they keep doing it to each other. Well, at that point, you're mutually abusing each other. So I can't tell if this has gone from one way abuse to like mutual or one way violation to mutual violation. But now it feels like she's enabling him. Or like they're enabling each other to some capacity because she didn't block him. He's already violated her consent like four times and she's not blocking. So a part of me is like, why are you enabling him? But then if she doesn't know better because she's mentally ill, how do we know he doesn't know better because he's mentally ill? It's like, fuck, who's, who gets to play the I'm mentally ill card more? Who gets to be innocent in this? Like, I don't know. All men are sincerely offered. Quit blaming the uselessness of other people's advice on your super specific situation and accept that you can make improvements too. You've even admitted uh Ovaldo says this is fascinating have you ever known anyone who was like this and changed so I personally have never known um a person who's like the the kind of like creepy autist that I'm explaining who has like a fascination with boundaries and stuff I've never personally known them to change but I will say that lots of people tell their stories of change and I wonder if we could look to those people as examples like the insult documentary we watched one of the guys said he was very misogynistic, very awful towards women. And then he had a realization that like, oh my God, if I stay here, I'm always going to be miserable. So I believe in that kind of introspection and change. The question is, can you do it? You know, can you do it? I did this before. I don't appreciate the backtracking. Um, this isn't really related to sex, but if you're trying to help somebody, um, usually the goal is to be as supportive as possible. Like, hey, I think you can do this. Hey, I know that you can improve this. Hey, um, even that can get annoying. But do, going the attack route is, um, wow, is like very, is like very not good. I probably don't want to attack people for their um, problems, especially related to like mental illness. Mm. Um, I just hope you don't respond to. Oh shit, hold on. Are we doing another picture? I think these are all blurred out, but just in case. Um, okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, I think it's blurred out. Wait, let me check one more time. Um, yeah, it's blurred out. I just hope you don't respond to this, to all this in the worst possible way. Typo is because I'm in the shower. What the fuck? You're showering with your phone? Who yeah, I have that? phone. Who said I'm in the shower? Okay, Vosh did. Yeah, I have a phone in a plastic bag. I do it often. I don't even use the plastic bag, bro. I just go in the shower. That's crazy. 
Okay, anytime somebody mentions I'm in the shower on text message, it's either completely neutral because they're a nudist or it's a sexual conversation for all my autists in the audience, okay? Because now you're saying I'm wet and I'm naked. So. Phone in a plastic bag. I do it often. Kind of weird. The bag blurs the camera though. Would you believe this is my penis? And then this is blacked out. Please do not send me dick pics. I'll block you. I'm well aware. Oh, come on. That was a little funny. Keck. Eh, I guess you're not in a good mood presently. Sorry. Oh, because you said something wrong on stream yesterday, so I thought I'd correct you because people mischaracterizing the evil white racism in Quebec is one of my biggest pet peeves of all time. I refuse to let French Canadians in my glorious white race. Um, plus, if I'm being nice, it's because I'm on a massive high right now because I got good grades back and I did good. I'd like to trade in some of those nice points for you, not smearing me in chat as often. No, I don't smear you. What you did was okay. So, okay. <laughs> um. <Yeah. laughs> I do enjoy how much Steven is enjoying this. Yikes. We got yikes. a lot of uh, we got a lot of yikes in here right now, okay? Yikes! <sighs> I um, <sighs> it's very. Hannah says it comes to the point where these logs, it's hard for me to excuse either of them with their neuro neurodivergent explanation. Like, there's no way she is enjoying it, but why is she enduring it? I actually do think ex neurodivergency does play a role. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying it's not an excuse; it's an explanation that adds to the detail. Why would any woman? suck the dick of a of a movie producer in Hollywood just to get a role. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would anyone do anything? The neurodivergency isn't an excuse. It's an explanation to why these people might end up doing something. The mental illness, the, the details of their life, how they were raised, what did they see mimicked in front of them, what knowledge they have at their disposal. Why you do something is incredibly nuanced to, to all the information you have at your disposal, right? And so it's not an excuse, it's an explanation to say, okay, for you, this is how this impacted you. Oh, how interesting. Why did you do that? You know, I, as a person who bubbles hop culture to culture, I'm never the same person anywhere I go, basically, because I'm always trying to adapt to the people around me. If I go to a Catholic church, I'm not cussing. I'm not dressing slutty, right? If I hang out with my brothers, like obviously we're we're operating differently than if I'm hanging out with my sister. If I'm with my bestie, like we 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 end up reflecting each other in a lot of ways, or at least I do when I'm with people, because obviously like people don't want every part of you when they're with you. They want the parts of you that get along with them, which might be minor divergency to be honest. But there's something here where I see that in these two, where they're like kind of like reflecting each other, they're mirroring each other. And they're slightly giving each other space to be fucked up, but they also don't want it to be. It's like they want it to be something different than it is. Vosh wants her to be a sex pest and she or a sexual woman, and she wants him to be the cool autist that like she gets along with. It's like they're both hoping they're different people and they keep interacting with each other as if they're trying to make it work. That's how it feels to me. You know? It's hard for me to regulate. Um, yeah, that was like pretty, yeah, that was pretty extreme. It's really hard for me to regulate like behavior that goes on in DMs in my Discord for no other reason because I'm really uncomfortable with it because then um because then we get into this weird area where like people are coming up like hey this person something need to me in my logs blah 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 um oh man I feel so bad and awkward doing this but I really shouldn't I guess um supposedly <sighs> this person has been involved in these types of interactions this is with two people supposedly with others as well see see Vaj be a pest bro <laughs> but the um this person was insta banned well no that's probably something that we're gonna do right now though I think um but uh yeah. The, um, oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's not, I'm not laughing because it's funny, I'm laughing because it's incredibly awkward. But, um, this, this person is Irish laddie. Yeah, yikes. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, damn. I, uh, I didn't reveal the names of either of the, either of the girls in the logs. But, um, yeah, damn. It's, uh, it's gonna be an omega yikes for me, fam. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, damn. If two girls came forward, there's got to be at least a few more. Supposedly there are, but these are the two that have, like, taken the most logs. Um, if anybody ever wants to, like, dump logs at me, I feel really bad because it's, like, um, damn. Because, damn. But, like, um, yeah, holy shit. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's, really, it's, it's really awkward. Um, there are, like, responsible ways to, like, engage in online interactions, and this is, like, definitely not it. Um, especially considering some of these people might be, like, not in the healthiest place mentally. Um, man. Just started watching. What did Irish Laddie do? Guys, you should, when you're talking to people, <laughs> why did you choose to leak them? Um, because, well, because for one, honest to God, the biggest motivator, um, this is kind of like funny drama. I don't normally do like drama shit like this. Oh, I say funny. I shouldn't. It's not true anymore. I say funny. It's actually pretty serious. Um, I don't normally do stuff like this, but the problem is like these kinds of like screenshots have been floating around like my Discord servers. And I know a lot of people have been talking about it like 
under wraps. Um, and then if I like randomly like ban Discord or ban Irish Lottie from Discord, a lot of people are going to be wondering why if I like I'm trying to get rid of all the socialists or if I'm trying to like make some power play or if Mr. Mooten is trying to get rid of other streamers. Um, yeah, and then um, yeah, so I figure it's just like yeah. I guess like here's kind of like my guide to this. Um, like if you could just keep this in mind. And says the fact that you were concluding this without any disgust response is important. Most streamers are going in on gut reaction. Listen, and this is why I think I'm better at these conversations than most people in the space. Because one, when I'm like triggered or upset, I say it out loud. Most people don't admit it and they're absolutely trauma reacting or they're disgust reacting. Two, this is kind of like what I think is so interesting about people is that we have this again. Remember, and I know you guys like maybe people don't understand it, but remember that we're all viewing these relationships with people through a very specific lens and people are never as healthy as we think they are. I think we're all born into dis dysfunction. The question is, what is your dysfunction? Like, you know what I mean? What is your version of dysfunction? I mean, like, and I think that's why people don't understand that. Like, I'm not even here to like judge you as the worst person ever. I don't know what's in your inner thoughts, but yeah, I think I'd like to say out loud, I think Vosh is a sex pest. And I think that's pretty clear by the way he acts and doubles down and then like is so in his ego about it. I saw a lot of people comment to me because a lot of people don't understand like I'm very specific about words and how we use them if we're being very serious. If we're being jokey, I'm very loose with terminology. People can misspeak all the time and I never care. I misspeak all the time. But if we're being very serious, I would like us to be a little bit more honest with categorizing. Like what does this mean? So just like remember that – I. I'm, I don't know Vosh as a person, but what I do know is like what I've seen and I've seen him violate this woman's consent multiple times, but also, you know, consent violation can be really normal in some, some people's lives. Like when people say like, it's really normal to fight my partner. That doesn't seem very healthy to me. That's weird that that's your normal. It's really normal for people to cheat. That's a weird take, but people have it. Um, even the fact that people were like, Vosh seems really dangerous. He had to get banned from Destiny's community. It's like, yeah, I think he should have been banned from Destiny's community. You know what I mean? But maybe people who also serial cheat on their partners and never like, you know, maybe they should be banned from their own communities. I don't know. But ultimately, like, it's just like a matter of dysfunction. And all humans are dysfunction, dysfunctional, you know? Um, and so it's a matter of like, what kind of dysfunctional are you? I think all dysfunction can be absolutely fixed and mitigated or at least helped by therapy or medical intervention. And whether or not Vosh is willing to do that is the question. And that's, that's probably not going to happen. Um, oh, okay. Hey, what's someone up? for what they do in Discord what DMs? What's going on? Kind of like Twitch banning um, people for a uh, Mr. Moon, where are you? My mind. You're, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, God. What was that? I think I was supposed to ban him. I didn't do it. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, was that Vosh? Did Vosh try to come in and then he blocked him? I'm confused. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? Oof. Um. Ugh, okay. Destin, you have to talk to him, you coward. Well, I don't know if I need to. I mean, I don't think that there's, like, much left to be said about this. I mean... <clears throat> here are, like, here are, like, just, um, here are, like, just, like, a couple of, like, random things that, that I want to say, okay? I've given the same example, like, a million times before, okay? Hold on. So, <clears throat> if you're engaging in a conversation with another person, and you have an extreme interest in that person, sexual or romantic, try to imagine what you would say in that other person's shoes. So here's, like, the deep... No, don't... don't... Mm, I don't know about this. Okay, maybe. Fault example that I always give, okay? And it works perfectly. If you, if, if a girl that you really liked, okay? If a girl that you really, really, really liked um, messaged you and she was like, do you want to hang out on Saturday? And you were busy Saturday. You would never respond back, um, I'm busy, sorry, right? You would always respond back, I'm busy, but let's try Sunday or Monday. You'd always, like, you'd always offer a suggestion. And that's because you want to hang out with the person, right? So if you flip the roles and then you have a conversation with somebody and you're like, hey, do you want to do something? And they never, they're kind of a basic, they don't really answer. Just put yourself in their shoes. And if they don't respond, it means they're probably not interested. The same thing is definitely true for sexual engagement, right? For engaging people in sexual conversations. If um, if somebody was having a conversation with you, and, and again, like, there's nothing wrong with using humor to kind of like broach sexual topics. I do this all the time, and I think it's okay. But if you make like a sexual joke, or if a girl, or let's let's flip again. If a girl makes kind of a sexual joke towards you, you're probably going to engage with it if you have a sexual interest. You're like, oh, like if she jokes, like, yeah, like you'll kind of like respond back in like a flirtatious manner. You know, I know you that do this shown me because, absolutely um, no interest in hold on. 
Um, you do this because like you would want to, because you want them to further that conversation. If you are continuously dropping like sexual humor and they're not engaging with it at all, it means that the person is probably not interested and you should probably stop because it's probably making them very uncomfortable. I'm saying probably because there are no 100% on any of this stuff, but like, yeah. Um, so again, like to reiterate, to be clear, I don't think there's anything wrong with using humor to kind of like broach like sexual advances. Again, I do this a lot, but if the person's not responding, they're not interested, like you have to back off. And also I think that like, you should, you should try to be mindful of, of like the other person in terms of like how they are responding to like you being sexual. If they're like explicitly telling you that they're not into it, you can't. I mean, like, obviously, you can't start, sh like, firing off random dick pics. So that's obviously, we're way past, like, what you should or shouldn't do. Um, yeah. Why are you banning someone from your community for the personal drama? Well, the problem is, the problem is that... Mm, yeah, the problem is, like, it's not personal. It's going to impact the community. Apparently, Irish has been doing this to, like, a lot of girls in my Discord. So yep. Yep. This is before Vosh is, like, Vosh, I guess. I don't know the lore, but... It sounds like this is almost like, ugh, what a groat, stupid. So there are a couple mm -hmm. of big problems with this, okay? Um... <clears throat> I have done exactly this to test out girls from Tinder who wanted sex. Yeah, sure. It's, 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 humor is a good way to brush these things, as long as you're not going too far. Um, yeah, Chaos says the problem is Vosh has a huge ego and can't imagine women not wanting him. I swear Vosh thinks he's literally so handsome, like so hot. I swear Vosh thinks like he's a 10 out of 10. I swear, I swear he thinks that, which is why I'm saying narky, which means he knows he's not a 10 because narcissists are actually secretly like very insecure. That's why they're narcissists. Like it's a whole thing. Um, the, 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 so the problem is, um, the problem is that, <clears throat> the problem is that, um, I can't have people like in my discord servers that are like hounding like every single girl. It's not good because, um, so for instance, I think I have like a decently active trans community on my discord server because we have a very low tolerance on like transphobic stuff or I guess no tolerance, like transphobic stuff. Like I don't even do the R traps gay shit. Like if somebody starts mentioning that in trap, that's a fucking instant pan. Okay. R traps, don't do that shit. Right. So I think I have a fairly healthy trans community. That's part of my community. Um, I would also hope that if you were a woman in my community, that you're not going to be worrying about like people that go from like girl to girl in discord, uh, you know, trying to like seduce you. And if you reject them, you know, fucking start shipping you dick pics or whatever. Right. Don't do that shit. You know, mm -hmm. um, I think that that kind of stuff is like pretty harmful to my community and I wouldn't want that um I wouldn't want yeah. that feeling that like if you were part of any community of mine that that's just something you have to tolerate like oh yeah like I really like um so like for instance I'm not calling anyone out here um but in a lot of other large Twitch communities right there are a lot of people that have like um kind of like a lot of racist shit and I wouldn't want you if you were like a black person or an Asian person you join my shit and it's like well you know if somebody steals something in a game people are just gonna spam try hard it's just what they do you know but that you just have to do it I don't want you to feel like you have to deal with that here like that's not not necessarily saying this is like your safe space or anything to discuss something but like yeah and the same thing like if you're a woman in, in at least in a community that I run I don't want you to feel like that oh yeah Justin's community is cool um just make sure you avoid X Y and Z because those guys are gonna start like spamming dick pics at you if you don't respond to sexual flirtations right i wouldn't want that to like exist in my Ugh. community you know um yeah it's time for a debate i don't i don't think i'm comfortable debating over whether or not this content is like sexually exploitive behavior because god damn this is like pretty clear to me i don't know if there are any contexts that could change the way that those messages played out yeah like Unless literally, like, unless literally, like, the message before is like, hey, I want you to act like as much of a manipulative sexual person as you can for the next 10 messages. Like, unless that's before, like, every <laughs> Yeah, doubt that's what happened. Every screenshot, I don't think. You can't just share one side dog, you're being disingenuous. I mean, apparently he's streaming if you want to hear his side, but the problem is, like, this has been something that my people in my Discord have been talking about for quite a while, like... Yeah, see, no, like, I'm sorry, um, peace and love, I will block you if I think you're gonna fuck with the vibe of the community. And the vibe of the community is like very diverse in my bubble, but also like you cannot fuck with the vibe. And Vosh, if somebody like Vosh was in my community, I would block them. A year? I think, right? Mr. Mutner, like a lot of people said that like Irish Light is like really sexually aggressive in Discord. Um, mm -hmm. This means no more Irish Light conversations. I mean, I at least. I knew I hated Vosh, bro. I knew I hated him. I knew I hated him for a reason. I didn't even need to see him. It's just the way he talks, bro. I don't trust it. Maybe if he reforms in a year. Vosh says that was misinformation. I mean. Of course he does. Oh, wait. Actually. Did he do this with with Aaron? I'm trying to think. I swear, these little neurodivergent boys get on the internet, and all of a sudden, neurodivergent girls think they're cute. Right? And then all of a sudden, they think they're fucking hot shit because neurodivergent girls want to date you. Try to get a neurotypical girl with no mental health or issues who who's actually well adjusted good luck boys <laughs> no not gonna happen boys fuck this conversation was so long ago i shouldn't even say that out loud actually because i don't remember i don't actually remember because someone in chat said that this has been going on for six years this is not like a breaking news type shit like don't you usually want to wait for the info to come out? No, no 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 this has been like for at least like a year like a lot of random people but the problem is like all the people complaining in discord um man I might sound like the type of guy, I guess, that plays into rape culture by saying this, which kind of sounds bad, but, like, a lot of the people that are in my Discord are in some, like, highly dramatic shit. So, like, when I read a lot of this shit, it usually goes in one year out of the I don't like to fuck with it, because you fuckers in Discord are crazy. Half the fucking time you guys are raping each other, killing each other, doxing each other, I don't fucking know. If it's not typed into my Discord server, I usually don't do shit about it. If you're, like, DMing each other, or you're fucking each other, or raping each other, or the side, you're doing some crazy, furry fucking whatever the fuck you guys are doing, okay. if it's not happening... 
What happened to listening to both sides? I mean, well, now I have to think about how responsible it would be for I'm me. I'm going to skip around a little bit because, like, I don't care about, like, this is just, we don't need this context. We need the Vosh. Engage with that conversation. I feel like I really shouldn't. You're giving him 2K viewers by not talking to him? Well, I mean, I feel like he'll get more viewers by me talking to him. I don't know. All right, Mr. Mooten or... Do a vote. We'll see what the people say. I'm not necessarily going to follow it. I'm just curious. <clears throat> I mean, technically... Nier gave Light a chance to explain himself at the end of Death Note, and he had, like, fucking irrefutable evidence, so. Yo, what I don't say? know what chips he's eating, but I want some. I want some salsa and chips, bro. Justify allowing <clears throat> Train in your community for basically the same shit. What? Train. I don't care about Train. Do it for the views? I mean, if I want views, I can just talk politics. I'm trying to think if it would be really irresponsible to me. So here's what I'm weighing right now. One, obviously it's- Okay, that's a good question to ask yourself. Like, should I host this guy and give him a chance to refute it? Or should I not? That's a good- this is a good thing to ponder. Good content because it's drama and people think that's funny. Um, a potential negative though is that you're platforming somebody who's going to get more popular off of engaging in what is kind of sexual harassment, pretty overt sexual harassment, I think, which is probably not good. Um, two, the other uh, the other women that are involved in it probably end up, if he's like being really public about their names, might end up being further harassed, although that might happen anyway. Um, on the flip side, being able to have a conversation with somebody about pretty sexually poor behavior, sexually poor, that's a better terminology, I don't know what I'm talking, um, could theoretically be beneficial. Um, I don't know. Oof. Um, My face when Destiny is always defending Train. Maybe really Train. Wait, hold on. I never defended Train. I don't care about Train. What's his name? Oh, God. I really... <sighs> uh, uh, uh. See, Destiny's acting like he doesn't really know who Vosh is. This is So this must be pre, like, really them t being a person to each other, right? Uh, okay. I made a Red Bull. And we're all fucking doing it. We can talk to JF. Let me in on this voice name. This isn't a meme podcast. This is a serious comedy. Fuck off. He thinks you always disliked him. That's because he thinks that I always disliked him because like every. Uh, I don't want to like make this like a comprehensive thing. I don't. I See, this is what I, I'm so confused about the lore. So this this time, Vosh and Destiny aren't friends. This is what I'm saying. I never thought they were friends. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed because there was this thing where Vosh was like, I was never really friends with Steven. And like this clip, I'm so confused. If this is when Steven banned him from his community, they were never friends. This is they don't even know each other. Am I confused? The way Steven is talking is sounding like he doesn't even know who Vosh is as a, like a consciousness. He's just thinking of him as like a username. I'm just so confused. I have not always disliked Irish, but like there are a couple of people where every time I have certain conversations on stream, they always message me like, hey, can I come and talk about this? And a lot of the times I just like don't, I don't usually respond. I don't have time to like drag everybody on. I've had Irish like on here quite a bit, but I guess like he has this feeling that like I've been ignoring him or I don't pay. Well, because Vosh is like a little insecure narc who's like, you don't like me. You don't want my horse stick. Ugh attention to him or that I'm like intentionally ignoring him because I hate him like that's like I don't think I've ever given an indication publicly that I've ever um that I've ever hated Irish laddie right I've never I don't think I've ever said that have I like I've platformed him like plenty um for like hours and hours and hours um but like yeah basically he'll like message me a lot to come on and I'll say like oh well you know I'm, I either don't I usually just don't respond it sounds like Vosh wanted Destiny's attention and Destiny didn't really give him as much as he wanted and Vosh claims like he never really liked me so Va so Vosh seems like a needy little bitch like a lot of people do this and um yeah he's just gaslighting me yeah The man of the hour. You know, generally in the past, I feel as though you've been a little bit more cautious with your rhetoric when talking about slander or accusations against public figures. Okay, so this is Vosh like hopping onto the call. Which I, I guess I am now, kind of, to an extent. Um, like, just speaking frankly, talking about this without calling me and then panic banning me from the Discord and from the server. Um, oof, I, I, I don't know. I mean, cool? Yeah, so the problem is that um, we've gotten these complaints for like, I think about a year, where like you've been like really from, sexually aggressive from a variety of people. Um, okay. Yeah, that you're like really right. sexually aggressive. Generally, I ignore them because I don't really care. But um, man, that collection of logs was, whew, that was some pretty, whew, that was some pretty sweat city stuff there, man. Literally, I mean, okay, so in the context of this conversation, obviously it's your platform here. Do you want me to try and defend myself? Or... Knock yourself out. Okay. Um, I just told half of the story to my stream. Uh, sure. Yeah, so the clips there are, they uh, curtailed over a series of months between myself and different people, and sometimes other people and different people, um, that have been, of course, obviously, they've been cut together to make me look as bad as possible. If the goal is to make me look bad, that is what you would do. You certainly wouldn't showcase any context that makes me look good. Uh, so, to put it frankly, in my combos with Poppy, uh, because that's the main uh, figure here, um, she's been trying to get me in trouble for, like, years in this community, and has succeeded to some extent. This is not... Oh, now, ooh, okay, now... No, no, no. H, he absolutely thinks he's the main character. No, absolutely. Vosh thinks he's the main character. Okay, so like now he's going to blame everyone, not take accountability, do the same thing he did now. Okay. New drama. All of this has been discussed before in D.GG. Okay, so let's say, let's say, let's say, for instance, let's say, for instance. See, this is, again, this is my pet peeve. This is why Vosh should be 
exiled from communities because he's a pest. And there's proof of this because look at the way he's doubling down. Everything else, I can't prove as much, but this is obviously clear to me. Since uh, what you're saying is true, why would you continue to DM her? Uh, I, di I didn't. I haven't DM'd Poppy in a really long time. Okay, but you clearly DM'd her at a point to where you thought that she didn't like you, and you were saying that's which is exactly why you were saying like, if I gave you my dick pics, you're gonna leak them. So why would you have that type of conversation with somebody if you already know? Uh, that hold on, I don't. I'm not familiar with all the fucking memes. Let me see if I can pull up the. Oh, I'm not familiar with all the fucking memes. Memes. The Imgur collection of images here. Uh, Poppy and I stopped talking after a time, and then Poppy blocked me uh, and started accusing me of harassing her. Um, and then Poppy created a new account, and there were several times during. Sarah says, "Do you watch Vasha's content?" Vaja's streams are 98% politics. I've seen him raise money and organize for worthy causes, yet for some reason he inspires his own character assassinations. It's depressing. Yeah, well, I think that's the problem is like um, bad people can do good things and good people can do bad things. So is Vaj a good person who's done a bad thing or is he a bad person who's done good things? And that's the question. Is Vaj literally a good person who did a bad thing or is he a bad person who does good things on, you know, on occasion? That's the question that time after the creation of a new account that I felt as though I could reason with her and be like, hey, can you stop calling me a literal rapist? All I did was act cringy to you over Discord. Wait, hold on one second. Huh? Uh, can you stop calling me a literal rapist? All I did was act cringy towards you. You know, I knew a guy in his mid-30s who cheated on his wife with a, with a, like a 17-year-old uh, in text messages, not physical, text messages. And I remember thinking like, that's so, why would you fucking do that? And the justification was it was just text messages. Okay, that's true, but also I knew a guy who would say like in his like, you know, almost 50s or 50s, 60s, I don't know. And they would say something like, um, I was flirting with this girl, but she lied about her age, but it's okay, she just turned 18. And I'm like, what? This doesn't make it right all of a sudden. So yeah, you're not a literal rapist, but you're like acting questionably with minor adjacent people. That's the thing, like real people. Again, we're focused on the real here. Mikey with the super chest says, okay, real question, is Vosh hung in this lore? You know, that's what I'm very confused about. Does Vosh have a horse cock or does he want to have one? Is the question. So again, when Vosh says, I'm not a literal rapist, I just was, um, you know, cringy at you in text messages. It feels like those same guys that are like, hey, I might've done this thing, but at least I didn't do this. I might have done this, but I didn't do this. Hey, I like cheated on my wife or I cheated on my partner or I cheated on my husband, but at least I didn't rape them. It's like, yeah, but like still bad, right? It's like we're we're like, yes, badness is on a spectrum. Bad behavior, consent violation is on a spectrum. But whether like it's a consent violation and then the people get to judge how they want to be with you, right? Like there are people like it does it doesn't matter. But again, it's like, huh. Like, again, I love the compassion. I love the suffering with. I love figuring it out. I love the nuance. I love the bubbles. But ultimately, like, according to Brittany's values, personal values, not like overall macro philosophy. People are just so unable to understand this. Okay. Brittany's personal values are like, don't date these people. Don't be around these people. Don't be with people who don't 100% own up to the actions they've taken and understand why it was a problem. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay, wait. So let's back up, okay? Yeah, please. Why? So like, when, so, okay, so I understand that. So from your goal, I think you understand. Yeah, yeah, justifying your actions by comparing yourself to the worst. Exactly, exactly, Cruzy. It's like, bro. Mm. And that there are messages here that are totally unacceptable. So what we're trying to use, we're trying to use context to ease, um, to, to, or to kind of ease like the, the, the sting of some of these messages. But I like, for like a series of messages, like, I know you want to see my dick, but you're a spiteful fuck, and I know you'd share my dick pics around, even though it's in the exact upper spectrum of your preferred dick size, right? For messages like these, it's pretty clear that you already know that this person doesn't like you, but you're still making these like highly sexual advances, even after they've explicitly, like continually not engaged with anything you've said. Why? Yeah. Um, okay, uh, yeah, for, in regards to that specifically, I think I remember the specific interaction. The reasons for that were because in public D.GG, so in, in not in DMs, uh, Poppy was making posts which were alternatively critical and weirdly praising him, not flirtatious necessarily, but they made comments about how it was something along the lines of like, I wouldn't even mind you or something like that. And I was really angry about this because this is the same person who had for a month, a period of months prior, had accused me of engaging. He's a narcissist. This is narc behavior, bro. This is narc behavior, bro. Chrissy says, Brittany, I think it's important to remember that this was Vosh several years ago. Not at the, this excuses anything, but I think he has grown and matured a lot. No, Vosh is, Vosh is displaying the same exact behavior right now that he's doing right here. That means he hasn't learned. So listen, 
Okay. I keep getting mixed signals from the audience. Oh my God. You're so pro Vosh. Oh my God. You hate Vosh. Oh my God. Brittany hates Vosh. Brittany loves Vosh. I don't fucking know Vosh. Okay. I'm judging him on what I'm seeing in terms of evidence and I'm being as fair as possible. The Vosh today uses the same argumentative um, points and style to deflect responsibility or ownership of mistakes that this Vosh does. So what I'm looking at is not if like too much of the behavior, like the behavior in his understanding of bad behavior. Does that make sense? Like see how he, um, I'm not seeing growth. And the same way I'm not seeing growth in a lot of people, like they do little things here and there, but like growth in a person for me only counts because the journey is important. So like I'm all about the journey, fuck up for 10 years, I don't care. But for me to say like you've changed, there needs to be a real understanding of the change, right? There needs to be a real understanding of the change. So when it comes to him, he's doing the same thing in this call with Steven so far that he did in relation to Ethan. So I'm going to say he hasn't changed just yet, but let's keep listening. Engaging in sexual harassment, sending nudes, even though I've never sent a nude to Poppy in my Wait, life. Wait, so do you think that if somebody says that they wouldn't necessarily mind you physically, that that's like carte blanche then to go ahead and launch into full like dick pic invitation to raids and DMs or? I, I never, uh, uh, never once in the entire time that I spoke with Poppy did I send Poppy a dick pic. In that specific conversation, I was frustrated with Poppy because it seemed like after months of them calling me a rapist, they were then making weirdly kind of like, oh, he's not bad comments, which frustrated me. So I said like, hey, fuck you. If I Yeah, if, 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 if it's true that the girls were thinking he was rapey, but still engaging with him, that also is the fault of the girls, but doesn't take away what Vosh did. So that's the problem is like if Vosh is exhibiting bad behavior, but the girls are still engaging with him in DMs and acting um, enabling, then we have multiple people at fault right now. So it might not be clearly like one person is victim and one person is predator. It could be just a group of really toxic people enabling bad action. And Vosh is probably the worst of the actions. And now he's trying to act like he's one of the best, like he's victimless or he's a victim. That's the problem is like I could believe a story where everybody is toxic and everybody's enabling each other. But even so, Vosh is trying to play it like he's completely innocent and everything. And that is a problem. So I would say that he's definitely the main problem. He's definitely the main problem. And then on top of that, women who continuously engage with him are the problem in the same way that I feel like I said this about Andrew Tate and women got mad. Some women got mad at me, like two people, not so barely anybody. But I said, if you, if you date Andrew Tate now, like that, that's, if you get with Vosh now, like that's on you. Could you imagine hearing all of this and assuming you have all the information about Andrew Tate and all the information about Vosh and all the information about destiny and all the information about Sneeko and all the information about all these men. And then you still choose to sleep with them or date them. That's your business. But girl, that says everything about you I need to know. That's what I'm saying. If you are willing to be with these men who continuously have made it clear they're not going to end up married to you forever. They're not going to treat you correctly. They're probably going to cheat on you and or lie to you. They have recent, recent patterns of being completely neg neglectful in their relationships and choosing people that are equally toxic to be around so they can pretend that nothing was their fault or only some of the things were their fault, which is probably more accurate than not. But still then yes, that's on you. So at that point, there are no victims. There's only adults making decisions to be toxic. But in this situation, it felt like Poppy was a victim. And I'm not sure if she ever goes to not being the victim. But I think like, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sprinkle, sprinkle, Hannah. Ser you know, sprinkle, sprinkle. Gaming says there are women who pursue serial killers. Exactly. Like, you know, at some point, you do you, girls. You do you send you a dick pic you just leak it and use it as more evidence against me um given the context and given that prior she'd spent months around hold on whoa ho, 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 ho. okay i don't know if you normally talk to people with a lot of social problems but you're lying to me okay when you, so you to. very 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 clearly in this conversation are looking with some sort of sexual reciprocation this is not something wait, that you're saying wait, let me find the image am i hold on maybe i'm thinking of the wrong image hold the fuck on uh, 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 I'm looking at like, is there like multiple fucking So now that we've brought the it? sexual tension up to a simmering level in here, I know what you're thinking. And then she doesn't engage and talks about Trump, and then you immediately re engage sexually and say, I know you want to see my dick pic. Like, this is not like. Oh, um, I see. Let me see. And then when you um, go, and then no, when you no. hit it up afterwards with the prove to me and I can trust you, right? Where you're trying to bait out her sending nudes to you. Um, and then at the and then in the next message where you continue to say that, like, I know that you enjoy these conversations. These are not the messages of somebody that's being incredibly spiteful because they're upset somebody said something in Discord. This is you hardcore trying to manipulate somebody into sending you new pictures. This is like, there's no oh, other reading of this. I, like, I, I, I suppose I disagree. I never in my life wanted nor expected new pictures from Poppy. Uh, she doesn't seem to be into me or into that. Um, see, 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 see. Then why did you fucking pester her in DMs? This is the kind of bullshit that drives me crazy. 
This absolutely not, sir. Block. This, these messages from 2017, um, I remember them as I remember them, and it is entirely possible that the specific context which may exonerate or condemn me has been lost to time, or we could just go back and look at the Okay, so would, you say, so would you say that you're not being flirtatious with her in these messages? Um, I would say that my frustration with her is in some way rooted in sexuality, but no, I have no interest. This is... Okay, okay so as a queer person, we flirt, we joke, we'll honk a honk a couple boobs that's consensual, and it's not sexual or flirting. But those messages were flirting. As a kinkster, as a queer person, as somebody who is engaged in nudist communities that are non-sexual and kink communities that are sexual, we know that there is a context in which you can engage and it not be sexual. This wasn't it. Not only did he engage sexually, but she actually asked him to stop multiple times. And she literally made it clear to him that he was being weird. He is absolutely just fucking lying at this point. Right? Like he's absolutely just lying at this point. Absolutely. Now the question is, does Vosh know he's lying or has he cognitive dissonantly like tricked himself into literally thinking he's not lying? And that's the next question. Okay, so if you have no interest of being flirtatious wait, with her- not, Wait, this is from 2017, right? Sure. This should be before she and I started uh, 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 arguing with one another because I think that happened in early 2018. Okay, well, regardless of what it is, like, I mean, like, it's just like a bunch of like messages where like they're very clearly like, not engaging with you sexually, but you keep trying to push them in that direction. So like, yeah, I'm also confident in saying, are, oh, sure. I'm also confident in saying that a lot of this behavior was flirtatious because later on you try to clarify that you shouldn't be flirtatious. Oh, so by the way, I do find your general antagonistic attitude endearing, but I should not flirt with you. Am I reading that right? As though you need to oh, change the behavior. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, gaming says he gets off on it. She doesn't matter. That's exactly the feeling. Bosch gives me that creepy feeling of like, no one's feelings matter. What matters is that he gets what he wants out of it. Very grapey. It feels very grapey more than anything else, in my opinion. Feels like, I'm not saying it is, I'm saying it feels like, it's like that. Like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nikki says, how can he deny they're flirtatious? Bro. K.O. says, honestly, I think he believes his lies. Honestly, I think he might. That's what's so interesting about mental health and personality disorders and autism and anything you have in your brain that makes it somewhat different than, but, but I've met men like Vosh. I know at least three, maybe two, two, I know at least three men I can think of who remind me so much of Vosh and all of them are the most frustrating, difficult people to be around. And I would recommend not engaging with them and they're off the internet. So like my examples are personal, but I know three people I've met in my life, my whole life, that remind me exactly of Vosh, which is why I knew when I saw Vosh, I was like, ooh, he reminds me of people who, and it was those people. And now I'm realizing it now, it's hitting me even harder. I'm like, ooh, but those people, again, they, they, they are very specifically focused on the kinds of people they go after. And it is usually like uh, people who feed, again, I don't mean to say that, I'm not a therapist, so I don't know this, but like feed, they're like, their ego needs, which is kind of like the narcissism thing. I don't know. But ooh, mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, Vosh looks up to Destiny for uh for approval, looking for approval. Vosh looks up to, va- Vosh needs validation constantly by anyone. And when he doesn't get that validation, he feels crushed under the weight of his loserness. And that's the problem. He is so desperate from validation. It's why he's probably isolated into his community because they're going to give him the validation he needs, which is why he feels really like good about himself. But the moment he faces anyone who doesn't give it to him, he like creates a whole narrative and a story and a whole like, oh my gosh, like just a whole thing around why he is once again the main character and the victim. If this, I'm sorry, listen, I thought this was post-argument. Uh, if this is pre-argument, if this is back when she and I were friends, yeah, there was a while where I was really, uh, uh, and this is legitimate, I was confused as to whether or not I was getting like vibes off of her. And I admit the conversation. I feel like, okay, autism, okay. I feel like autism, they were, okay. I feel like autistic or not, she was really clear about no, but also she did, she did enable some of his behavior, but also that could be her autism. Because my Discord, the autists were just talking about the shower comments. I had to learn that the hard way. I would tell people, oh, I'm getting into the shower, just like to tell them I would be away from my phone for a while. And then when men would reply like, oh my God, send me a picture, it didn't happen. I realized like, what? And then I realized as a young person, probably in my mid, early mid-20s, I guess, mid-20s maybe, almost late 20s, I realized that if you told men you were going to take a shower, they were thinking it was a flirtatious thing versus I was thinking, hey, we've been texting a lot and I don't want you to think I ignored you for 30 minutes at a time. I'm going to go take a shower. 
that do you get what I'm saying? So I think that she innocently like or he would say things like he thought was clearly sexual and then she would be like confused. But then it was like it was so messy. But I think ultimately, regardless of all the good people excuses, Vosh is a bad person. I think Vosh is using perfectly normal good people moments that are mistakes to justify his intentionally bad behavior. That's my theory. I think my my theory is that there's innocently missing social cues and like being awkward and not sure of what's going on, which I think happens to everybody. But then I think he's using that as an excuse to get a because he has too much of a reputation now. You know what I mean? Something, something like that. But I have to provide a pretty extraordinary lack of social grace from my part at certain uh, uh, places. But I do think, and I'm going to be frank about this, and I apologize if it sounds like overly defensive behavior. This is a conversation which I didn't threaten, didn't demand nudes, never sent nudes, unrequited nor unrequested, never did anything which could genuinely constitute harassment. Because at this point, pre 2018, I would very frequently ask her if my behavior may. See, very, it's very specific about dates and times. Yes, autism, but also could be a predator's way or a bad person's way of like making it look like he's got the receipts. But the receipts we've just saw, Destiny just read us the receipts. You're uncomfortable? Because I am, and I'm going to be fucking frank about this, sometimes a little bit much. I would ask, hey, is this making you uncomfortable? Is my being sort of pseudo- Did we see that? Did at any point with the logs that Destiny's read, did he at any time check in with her and see how she was doing? Flirtatious, make you uncomfortable. If that's the case, I'll stop. I won't do it. And she would say very frequently, no, no, this is fine. Just don't do blank. There was a touch and pull cat and mouse. And I don't mean that in a sexual way. I just mean that some people do this. Some women do do this where they're like, so the people pleasers, right? They're so afraid of saying just no, don't fucking do it at all or I'll block you that instead they're like, oh, it's okay if you do this, but don't do this. It's okay if you do this, but don't do this. So, okay. But did we see those messages? The sort of vibes wavered on and off uh, environment that consisted uh, that persisted for several months until uh, she and I argued with one another and everything that I had done prior constituted sexual harassment in spite of my admittedly and I say this fully insubstantial efforts prior. See, this feels like a lie. Did we see any evidence of him saying that? Destiny better ask. To um, come off, I guess, not being fucking weird and cringy. These are cut up segments of a conversation over a period of months from a very, very long chat log between her and I, in which there was no evidence of me harassing, threatening, sending nude pics, or demanding nude pics. And this is, and you, did I hear this correctly, that you compared me to JF over stream? No, I didn't this compare is... you to JF. I said that if I talked to JF, I could probably talk to you. <laughs> Thanks. Just a little Much bit. But, Much I mean, like, so this I'm basically is, either left with thinking die. that you're, 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 you're well, hold on, well, hold on, careful, careful, because you're, you're, I'm kind of like letting you like spin a whole tale that is, I don't think I'm this not, is like I true. think I just said this very neutrally, but if you would Sure, like so like, yeah, so I mean like, in reading these conversations to me, it is insane. I'm being very neutral, I'm being very neutral. No, Vash. Mainly obvious, kind of like what the goal is, right? We're engaging in like a decent level of emotional manipulation in order to make somebody feel bad enough to send you new pictures. That's kind of like what's happened here, right? The, the threatening them without being friends with them anymore, they're saying that you're going to withhold advice and not talk to them on a deeper level if they haven't sent you anything. Like these kinds of like conversations seem to be geared towards making a person feel bad enough to send you new pictures. Um, the, the, the aggressive, like, why are you so disinterested in being flirtatious with me? Um, the, the pushing somebody, even though they've kind of said they're asexual, like, it seems to me that we're kind of pointing in a particular direction. That, well, that's I pretty was, obvious. I was, I was very confused at certain points because sometimes she said stuff to me that I interpreted as flirtatious. I'm sure. Not so, like, a normal, so, like, the responsible thing is, like, if you're confused, then you probably wouldn't lean into it 150%, right? Yeah, that's why I stopped after this. I completely rethought how I talk to people online after this poppy debacle. And since then, I've been really fucking careful about engaging with people Obviously because I am, not. and I hate to pull this out because this sounds like some bullshit ass fucking, uh, 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 invalid self-defense, but I am autistic. Sometimes I misread social signals. This taught me, among other things, that sometimes, in spite of my best intentions, I Okay, so now the question is, does his autism play a role in this? I think it's always going to play a role in everything, right? Just like neurotypical is going to play a role in everything we do, right? So I think it is going to play a role in everything he does. The question is, is it simply autism or is it autism plus narcissism plus abuser? Is it autism slash bad values? Is it autism morals? You know, like again, with the incel problem, if the incels in the documentaries we were watching are also autistic, they're going to have another layer of social challenges that society might not be prepared to engage with. Like if the girls on my Discord who are autistic are saying, I thought telling a guy I had to shower was neutral and the guys are seeing it as flirting. And I'm sitting here like, yeah, like I always thought it was neutral too, but like, no, they took it as flirting. Then there could be an autistic element and or neurodivergent element into the miscommunication. The dilemma is I think an autist who's well-intentioned and who has good values would have been able to value her original desire not to be sexual and would not have continued to engage. And so I think that he's probably, regardless of being autistic, somebody who doesn't give a fuck about her boundaries and will be happy to violate them as he continuously does. You know? 
MMM says everything people use autism as an excuse. I think my roommate did from time to time. Like I understand levels. Yeah, of course. Everyone uses everything as an excuse. I have cancer. It's an excuse. I'm a victim. It's an excuse. Um, blah, blah, blah. But the point is, is that it also could be true. I think in this instance, um, she was blunt enough in the beginning that he should have listened to that and didn't. So regardless of him having autism, which I actually think could engage with like maybe his hyper focus into like the porn stuff he's into i'm not sure regardless something went wrong in vasha's life that led him to being a person who twists narratives and stories to create new ones so he always looks like the good guy and everyone always looks like a bad guy so he's the bad guy i can kind of fuck it up so since then i've been really careful about how i talk to people um poppy has despite no contact with her over the past year and a half I, well, I mean, there have been minor bans, but it was all in public and mostly stuff by her insulting me, has been over the past year and a half trying to get me fucking ruined over this because she is, I don't know. If she... I'm ruined. I'm getting fucking ruined over this. But like, that's the problem. I'm the victim. I'm getting ruined as if he didn't participate or send those DMs that we shot so showed earlier. She believes this genuinely or if this is a narrative that she's woven together because it serves her interests because she wants to paint me as somebody who has this habitual tendency of sneaking into the DMs of like mentally unwell young girls and trying to emotionally cajole them into nudes. Uh, which I is mean, not the other up, person which, is like... I can, that's even more defensible. That is so beyond... The other person that... very This is a person whose my contact is limited to a few emails and even I know that she is like pretty mentally like not... I don't want to say not all there because it sounds very rude but this is somebody that I would like urge extreme caution with dealing with and um yeah and, the and then that's the next question are you just really stupid or deliberately malicious are you so traumatized you literally don't know how to do better and that's the question i run into this space all the time this space on the internet is very difficult to know are you lying are you just being absolutely dumb are you being obtuse like that's the thing with trisha paytas everyone's always wondering like does she literally not think like does she think we really had to invent gravity is trisha actually smart or is trisha spinning a narrative is trisha vosh like i don't think trisha's vosh right i like trisha i don't think she's vosh but that's what people look at trisha they look at her like people look at vosh because there's no way she could be that dumb because she says she's smart and vosh thinks is smart so why is he doing this, right? It's it's very confusing. Conversation that gets cited when people are talking about my negative relationship. Wait, can we not say their name? Are they like anonymous? I wonder if they don't. I mean, I'd prefer not to, but. Okay, yeah, fine. Um, I mean, I can say Fabio, I assume, because she's a sort of class to all of this. But, but, but in regards to that person, the conversation that we had that people miscite or that test out. Fuck! Oh my God, no, uh, forget it. That's not even their name anymore. Listen, my apologies. That conversation was one in which I wanted to talk with them and tell them to stop thirsting after me because I did not believe that our values were um, comparable such to the extent that I could do anything other than like sort of fuck with her brain. You know what I mean? Um, I can give the context on that. Because yeah, Anna says he's purposely obtuse in my opinion. I think that's the red flag for me. That is so insanely defensible. It was literally, I was part of the PolyChat Discord, a subservient of your Discord. They were pretty cool. And uh, this person was thirsting after me fucking hardcore. This is a fact. You can check. This was unrequited, at least initially, and instigated by them. I would be in like a voice channel publicly, like with 10 other people, and they would post in, in the Discord chat, like, I'm so fucking horny right now, his voice. And is he talking about, now he's not talking about the original girl, right? Now we're talking about the second girl? Wait, I lost the narrative. Are we talking about the second girl? And Twitter, they'd be like, I thought about him all day. Some pretty, like, yikesy, obsessive shit. Um, so I isn't this kind of like the difference between, like, um, a woman being sexual versus, like, objectifying somebody? Like, just because somebody says that they might be horny or something in a public discord doesn't necessarily mean that's an invitation to start firing off DMs that are, like, then they, this, then this they level DM'd of sexual aggression. And started, then they DM'd me and started asking other people how they could get me to ask, uh, how they could get me to send dick pics without them having to ask for it because they're a hardcore Christian and don't believe in that. They initiate. Oh, so we are talking about the original girl. What? To the DMs, they initiated the public flirtation. Wait, so initiated. you're telling me that there's DMs of this person DMing you and saying, So this is the this is the church girl. Would you please send me dick pics, but I don't know how to ask for it. No, there are other people. I don't know if they would vouch for me or not, but I'm not going to, you know, rely on it. But it was in a public voice call with about 12 people. I wasn't there at the time. And apparently this person was asking, Oh my god, how do I get him to send dick pics to me? I no, 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 this is a this is a fake story. So wait, this is a fake story. Because like he wasn't even in the call, but people wouldn't vouch for him. And there's this true story. None of the oh my god, I just want to die. None of this can be no. I don't care if it, no, I don't believe him. I don't want to ask. Again, this isn't, this isn't like crux evidence. I can get to the extent of it because I can explain this very quickly. This well, the problem, it's not like, I know that you can explain it because um, <laughs> I know, I'm sure you've got an explanation for everything. But like when I look at these messages. I bet you have an explanation for everything. Exactly. You, don't you what? think it's a little bit unfair of you to get a bunch of clipped up pictures that other people have compiled over like a year and a half, use that as an argument against me, and then like delegitimize my attempt to defend myself because like, of course you have an excuse. D don't you think that's like kind of a bit shitty? I'm really trying to present this neutrally. If you think that my language is too biased, I can adjust it. Well, like, I mean, so like, for instance, like when I look at this, so you're telling me that this is a person that is like secretly like thirsting for your dick, apparently. It's not secret. Okay, it's not, it's not, it's not secret, secret. But when you have a private conversation with them in every single message, they are never, ever, ever engaging with you sexually with any of the things that you're saying, whether you're talking about obtaining news from another person, not only are they not. Literally, thank you, Steven. Engaging, they're often pivoting to like a whole other topic point or, or 
were ex explicitly expressing like disinterest, like I'm not going to press you on this, like or trying to change the subject to something, or exactly. explicitly stating that they're asexual. Um, yeah, like. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. There's a mountain of evidence from that Discord and the people in that Discord, but they were insanely. No, no shot, no shot. A girl who's fucking into you isn't making it clear in the DMs, but will make it clear publicly. There's no shot, like no chances. Yeah, no chances. And also, Catblock also had a bad experience with Vosh too, and I trust Cat's perspective on that. So no shot. So three girls. We now know three girls. No shot. Like fucking flirtatious thing. Um, I don't know what logs or what cut up segments of a conversation were released to you, but if I could get a couple of my boys on the line, no, just anyone who was in that server, this was all very public, but it was a smaller server, so it doesn't leak as much. Let me just explain this very briefly, because this is really simple. They were super fucking flirtatious with me. I engaged with it for a time because I am admittedly weak, and I like it when people are nice to me and flirtatious with me. It makes me feel loved and, you know, appreciated and shit. Um, but over time, it became clear to me that they were not mentally well. Um, and I really don't mean that in an illegitimate way. That doesn't mean their feelings are invalid or that they're not capable of accusing me of doing a pain to shit. Man, Vosh cannot eat the cupcake, let me tell you. They weren't mentally well. So I thought, okay, I shouldn't be fucking around with this. I had a conversation with them that lasted for about an hour and a half over voice, where I was one half, like, haha, <laughs> flirty flirt, but other half being like, hey, yo, seriously, though, I'm a non monogamous, polyamorous fucking pan dude. Um, you're like a Christian, no sex before marriage, and you're like self hating about the arousal you're feeling towards me. We shouldn't do this. This isn't good. Nothing good. Oh, the way he just twisted that narrative. Oh, the way he just twisted that narrative. Oh. Ooh, oh, 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 he's like, ooh, the way I'm this pansexual, pan, uh, non monogamous dude, and you're this Christian girl who wants my dick so bad, we shouldn't be engaging in this. Like, what? What? Food will come from this. After that, they fasted for three days as a product of that conversation. No food. After that, I realized I was done with them. Shortly after they returned from their three-day fast, Poppy showed up in that server. And Poppy started okay, so talking like about Oh, so Poppy isn't the Christian girl. Now I'm even more confused. Or are they saying when they returned from the three-day fast, Poppy said, see, now I don't know who's Poppy and who's the Christian girl. Because the title of the video is Vosh Poppy Harassment Logs. But isn't the Christian girl the... I'm now very confused. Uh, okay, no, no, please. I'm really trying to frame this neutrally, but this is literally what happened. Yeah, now he's saying he's not the one who wanted her. Yes, Nikki. Now he's saying he didn't even want her, bro. Damn, that's wild. I just don't see how, like, if you thought somebody was, like, mentally compromised, wasn't able to make these types of- So Vosh should go to a therapist who specializes in neurodivergency on autism and sexual deviancy degeneracy. And I think that's important. But honestly, I think he probably just has, like, a personality disorder or something. Yeah, his levels of delusion gaming are just insane. Uh, this is, like, dangerous levels of d delusion. I agree. This is crazy levels of delusion. So then I'm like, okay- but then he's probably not like, um, he's, it's, it's probably like, a I don't know. I don't know what it could be. Yeah. This is crazy. To decisions. Wouldn't this come before like months of very highly sexually aggressive, unreciprocated that was, conversations? That was, with Poppy. that was with Poppy. The other person I talked with for a total of nine days. Discord uh, DMs confirmed that. I went in the poly chat server. They acted thirsty. Nine days of conversation. I stopped talking with them. Poppy is the other person. And I've already explained that to the greatest. Wait, if you've only talked to them for nine days, then wouldn't that mean you should be even more cautious when being very sexually aggressive in DMs? Um, I wasn't sexually aggressive in DMs. They were sexually aggressive towards me. And I reciprocated because, like I said, I'm weak. I agree. What? Where's the DMs? Where they're sexually aggressive towards you? And especially now, well, I wasn't even a public figure back then. But now that I am, I recognize that I, there's going to be, like, a weird fucking parasocial, like, shit that I have to deal with. But at that time, it was literally just somebody being like, holy shit, his voice is so fucking hot. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So when you hear things, like, along the, along the lines of, like, when you're telling somebody that they enjoy your sexual advances, even though they make them uncomfortable, how, like, how, do you, how am I supposed to reconcile those types of messages? Um, from the other person who is not Poppy? Yeah, no, to the uh, other person that is not Poppy. Oh, um, because I knew that like they they were they had like an inner war going on with their like appreciation of me sexually and the fact that they're like a hardcore. <laughs> I'm Stephen is me right now. I'm like what? Fucking fundamentalist Christian who doesn't believe in sex before marriage. So a lot of this uh, dialectic, if you will, going on in their mind was the disconnect between. Okay, says Vaj is really banking on the audience being negative IQ to get out of this. What an interesting strat. It's like a death rattle or something, bro. This is this is in, this is such a red flag. If you meet a person like Vaj, red flag. Everything about him, red flag. This is so red flag. Oh my gosh. Between their religious values and their physical desires. I thought, and pardon my naivete, I thought that maybe by being flirtatious with them or like at least engaging with their sexuality, I could help them be less self hatey about it. And <laughs> Oh my 
my god what a saint oh what a savior what what a beautiful what a jesus like figure this man jesus himself oh girl oh girl i was not ready this is nar. this is narcissism right i don't know i haven't read enough but i've only read like four books on narcissism but like i'm pretty sure this is narcissism holy shit the way he gonna save her from herself right Woo! And maybe I'll rewind it. I'll rewind it. Listen. Sexual marriage. So a lot of this uh, dialectic listen, people, listen. going on in their mind was the disconnect between their religious values and their physical desires. I thought, and pardon my naivete, I thought that maybe by being flirtatious with them, or like at least engaging with their sexuality, I could help them be less self hatey about it, and maybe like n let, because because I'm like my GF is wow. If I just engage with her, maybe I could make her less self hating, bro. Bro, Tacoma Wep. Yes, Nail, Tacoma Wep. Man, Captain Save a Ho. Exactly, Kelvin. Oh. Kay says Vosh really died on the cross to save all the girlies. Bro, I'm going to Photoshop that later. Bro. Wow. Red flags, bro. This is what I'm saying. Humans are going to human, and part of the population is like this. Stay away from them sex educator it's it's just something that i'm interested in be like okay like all right um you hate yourself because it's sinful to lust but you lust after me maybe we can explore these feelings and i did this is a combo we had publicly by the way in the public voice channel maybe we can oh man oh man or these feelings in a way that doesn't make you want to like fucking hurt yourself okay this so like every, so of, everything okay. okay um man this is really really awkward um i love you very Please. much i like i understand you i'm pretty sure i understand your inner thought process so well right now and um maybe with another person um maybe maybe this would work but like everything you just told me is a massive lie um totally when i read awkward. these logs it's incredibly obvious that what your goal is if steven knows a liar it's steven if anybody knows a liar it's steven he knows this is a lie trust me this is a lie. He's right. Vosh is lying the fuck out of himself right now. Is your goal is to get them to sexually engage with you. If your goal was to actually have a conversation with a person and, and make them more comfortable with their sexuality, there are ways that you can do that. I, fuck, I wish I, I, wish I did this. I wish I did this. I'm just looking. I'm looking through. Is it from Poppy or the other person? Um, that's a super valid distinction right I there. I don't know. Like, here's this, right? Um, I actually had a conversation incredibly recently. I wish this was via fucking text. I wish this was with text. I could copy paste it and show, you, and show everyone what a conversation like, actually looks like. So I was talking to somebody very recently and they said that they have, um, there's something called vaginismus or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. But basically, they get very yeah. tiny, very nervous during sexual activity. And I was curious yeah. about that. And we had a conversation about that, but nowhere in that conversation would I say something like, you know, if I would fuck you, I bet that vag would like loosen right up. Or, you know, if you would let me go down on you, I bet I could, I bet I could tongue you open, baby. Jamie says, do you think Vosh is giving one behavior? No, 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 I don't. I don't think he is. I think he's giving personality disorder, severely mentally ill too, is my guess. But also like functional because... He plays the role really well. Maybe even a 2A, honestly. Or a 2B with like a, a cognitive dissonance, maybe. But not a 1. Maybe. Like, I would never say something like that. Because if we're actually having like a conversation about like an actual sexual problem that person has, then the conversation would be focused on that problem. But not I, something I like, not something like, also, God damn it, you are so open to innuendo. Your language screams for it, right? Like, holy shit. Like, these are like... That was, that was, uh, that was I believe that was a poppy log, but not... Um, I mean, my... For those of you asking what is one behavior, check out the link in the description for my levels video. I have a levels... Philo uh, an observational philosophy on introspection levels and they're asking is one is he a one on the introspection level system but i would say he's he could be a one but he's most likely a two he's definitely he's too successful and well put together and way too charismatic and you know he's too self like he you have to be a one you have to be useless to yourself and your community and he's quite he's half useful to both so he's not quite a one right the no, this isn't. This is this is the this is the other person, right? And like okay, the fact that like you're not really making. Well, hold on, hold on, because I just said you have like five minutes, okay? The, like the fact that you're. This is the one on trial here. Well, the, yeah, sure. Well, this is an execution, not a trial, okay? But when, mm -hmm. when I'm looking through these logs, it's not really like you're interested in talking about the problem. The interest is, is squarely focused on yourself, because like I said, there are ways that you could talk in which you would be talking about that problem, but you're not. You're just you're trying you're, to get them to you like. Haven't, mm -hmm. You haven't looked through the logs. You've looked through the logs that people have cut up who dislike me. Sure, Please but the, but there are. Um, the I can explain everything here. Um, I did not listen. I didn't mean if I just made it sound as though I was just trying to act as a sex educator with the person we're talking about. That's not true. Like I said, they were flirtatious. Me, I am weak. I reciprocated the flirtation. I believe it is possible to be flirtatious with somebody and also engage with them like on a uh, like a, a discourse about their sexuality and their level of comfort. In the log you just sent me, they were like, "Hey, maybe tone it down a bit." And after, by the way, after messages that they had sent both in public. Okay, and wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Before, 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 yeah, before jumping to another topic. So let me. This so, is not this the same topic you just brought me up on. You literally sent me this, asked me to explain it, and then started talking over me. This is not a different topic. This is what you just gave me. Okay. Well, but the, the topic that I guess I want to focus on is whether or not you were trying to help this person, or whether or not you were just trying to get nudes or get into a sexual relationship with this person. Never wanted nudes from this person. Never asked for nudes from this person. But you were they trying to be. You were, your goal was to get into a sexually explicit relationship with this person, right? 
No, my goal initially was to be in the poly chat server and chat with people who I liked. Okay, so then, let's, so then let's see how like normal person would read this and, and take away from this, right? Um, sometime in the near future, I would like you to clarify what you meant when you said, don't know how I make you feel. So this seems like something that's more pointed towards you and not necessarily a problem. So it's obvious you find me cute. The feeling is mutual, so I like you as well. You also, on some level, do enjoy my sexual advances, so they do make you uncomfortable. I don't want to make you uncomfortable, so I won't make them anymore. That being said, what do you want moving forward? It seems like this is a conversation about a potential sexually explicit relationship between you and this person, not a, not a conversation about like their problems. I won't yeah. lie. I'm very curious as to your thought process on my sexual advances. See, I've never been inhibited. It's difficult for me to imagine the mind of someone simultaneously intrigued and uncomfortable. These aren't the, these aren't like the logs. Again, like if I was having yeah, a conversation, again, this, yeah, this is a conversation where I was being more explicitly sexual with them after their consent and reciprocal sexual behavior. This is not one of the more sort of technical discussions on how religion relates to sexual self hatred. That was done more in public. Again, I just said this. I never said that I didn't engage with them sexually, but I thought in oh! the context of this conversation. Oh! I never said I didn't engage with them sexually. He's so frustrating. He's the most frustrating human. I don't like these humans. And I don't think you should engage with people who keep changing the goalposts. That's what I mean. People who change the goalposts, they change the story. They're not straight up. I don't trust these people. Oh, that I was being relatively responsible because what you're not seeing is all of the time. Egon, this is not a recent stream with Vosh and Destiny. This is lore content about when Vosh got banned from his community years ago. They were like, I'm literally fucking tripping about this guy right now. I did not know this is why Vosh in Destiny, is this why they burned the bridge? I don't know this lore. This is crazy. Obviously, Vosh needed to be banned, but is this what burned the bridge? Obviously, Vosh, like, I don't, Vosh is a little pest. He's a little weasel. He's horrible. Yes, Nail, he's a weasel. Oh, I want to talk to him so bad so I can be like, why are you a sex pest? Do you know you're a sex pest? You know, Erudite's got that video with Vosh. I couldn't even get through it. You know when Erudite collabed with Vosh? I couldn't even finish it. It was so aggravating. He just felt like such a fucking liar to me. And not like a liar. Like everyone lies in different ways, right? Like every like everyone has a relationship with lying. But like Vosh's level of lying is like so specifically like what? Like what? It's too much. And I felt like that when I was listening to him talk to Kyla. I couldn't even finish it. I literally couldn't even finish this video, bro. Now. I want him to send me dick pics. I want him to so you have logs of them saying that to you? Uh, I have people who heard over voice. Almost all the contact with this person was over voice, but I can prove it. There are logs from their Twitter where they posted tweets that were unambiguously about me. There are other people who saw mm. them post shit like that in the poly Okay, but again, 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 you understand that, that them, you understand that them saying something like, I find this person attractive or even this person makes me dripping, that doesn't give you the right to go into their DMs and act in an incredibly- I they went to my DMs and they initiated conversations about sex with me. Oh, already... I want proof. Where's the, where's it? Answer this. Listen, Destiny, I really, I really feel like you're not giving me a fair shake here. I feel like I'm explaining this. Well, what you feel like is you kind of like wrap together a fairly convincing narrative that would hopefully make me forget about a lot of what I'm reading. Yeah, no, no, and you're trying no, no, to tie no. together using evidence that we can't look I at right this, now, which is I ambiguous voice chats by people that aren't willing to come forward and corroborate any of them. I never, whoa, 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 I never said they aren't willing. There are people who I know who probably would talk about it. It's not all voice chats. There are public chats in D.GG and in polychats, which would collaborate with what I've said for, for two or three. I, I forget what well, the, the public chats don't make you any better because the public chats are you making like very, very sexually explicit comments again about Poppy. With Poppy and a lot of those public chats were in a heated argument where she was calling me a rapist. And yeah, I go full fucking tilt when people call me a rapist. I'm sorry. Wait, full tilt. Well, obviously, like, you can't just be calling people rapists, but at the same time, like, something. Listen, like, I bet Poppy's never been stretched so far that her butthole pops out a little bit. Like, this is your response to somebody flaming you? You literally posted a picture of a burning cross to somebody who said that being a black in America is lit. I do not want to hear your take on optics when it comes to... Okay, you both of these men have horrible optics, but Steven is not a Vosh. So let me, let me make it clear, right? Like... Steven is horrible when it comes to optics. To this day, his Twitter is a mess. Okay, his social media presence is a mess. Steven absolutely gets clicked saying things that are salacious. Same, we're all in the same space. But he's much more consistent and fair than a Vosh is. Like Steven, I don't think he could, he does what Vosh does. Like Vosh is literally like lying and manipulating and piecing things back together in a particular way. Steven just uses languages very differently. And like, yeah, it's like an edgelord, Kelvin. Yeah, he's like edgy. But Vosh in this particular instance, he's giving more like twisting the truth, even if it's like, like Steven said, like Steven's calling him out perfectly here. And yeah, it's like they're both bad at optics, but Steven is doing something different than what Vosh is doing. Yeah, Vosh is like, yeah, Vosh is very, very different. Like, this is very, very different. Hmm. It's it's hard, though, because, like, Steven is so bad at optics, but, but, but Vosh is just not – he's not even bad at optics. Because Steven is bad at optics, but I don't think he's ill in – like, I don't think he – he's trying to make a point by being salacious. Vosh is bad at optics because he also, even if he was good at it, would be hiding something pretty bad. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, Vosh is a pest.
So you defending yourself in an argument when it comes to making yourself like look bad in the public. Yeah, sure. Okay. So here, so I can defend my yeah, so I can defend what I did if you if you yeah. care to hear it. Right? No, I know, so, I know no, 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 hold on, hold on, no, because now yeah, his stealthing takes. Look, I don't mind Steven's stealthing takes because, like, his business, I don't agree with the narrative. But it's also why I engaged with engaged with Steven very differently back in the day when we were in contact because of his stealthing comments, because of his opinions on women and agency and consent. It's why I treat people based off of their values and not mine because I if I treated people how I treat, like, people how I want to be treated, like, I wouldn't treat people correctly, right? So Steven does have some pretty intense opinions that I disagree with, but that is why I treat Steven the way I treat him because like that's how he's presented himself, you know, on the internet. Vosh, same thing. I'm going to treat Vosh a certain way based off how he's, you know what I mean? The way Vosh is presenting himself. Now I want you to do the same for yours as I do for mine, right? So I had a bunch of black nationalists that were tweeting at me um, that were denying the fact that black people had trouble in the United States. They were saying that black people have always had a rich and powerful and good history in the U.S. and that a lot of people overblew the troubles that black people face. And their final response was like, actually, being black in the U.S. is lit because they were trying to deny the fact that black people face a bunch of uh, uh, institutional racism or whatever that exists in the U.S. And my tweet back to that, obviously, well, how could you say that, right? Like, obviously, the fucking KKK should exist. So my tongue and my tongue in cheek tweet back was, here's a picture of a burning cross, like you know, lit. You say, right? It was very edgy, sure, but like that—that that was my take on that. Was it edgy? Sure. Was it? I mean, was it racist? I mean, I don't think so, uh, considering the point that I was spending. Now, what I'm curious is, so what I'm curious is, um, and you can take issue with my explanation, not that's fine. What I'm curious is, is how does like somebody that's accusing you of sexual assault how do you how do you make a message like i bet my dick would look colossal in poppy's hand how was that defending in the same look is still being charitable to tiny i see i'm only charitable to steven because i think he's in the category of guy who's actually just like traumatized but doesn't want to face himself he was on the iced coffee hour with graham stefan recently and it's so clear to me that it's like so trauma right he was being interviewed about his like divorce and then they asked if he would like get married again he's like no i'm not much of a marriage guy then he's like look my next relationship will probably fail too just statistically like relationships fail that's trauma dude a person who goes into relationships thinking like i'm a statistic i'm probably gonna fail i've seen that from people he comes from a divorced home i think or at least comes from a really bad background i could be wrong if his parents his parents might still be together but um that's just trauma Vosh, on the other hand isn't giving me much information to see him as just trauma and he's miss He's taking things way out of context. Like I misspeak, Steven misspeaks, but I've never seen Steven take me like viciously out of context outside of trauma. And I've never seen myself take him viciously out of context unless it's trauma or we haven't communicated clearly. But Vosh is literally taking people out of context when we have the DM logs and it's really, really bad. So obviously like I can be good faith towards Steven because he's not Vosh and Vosh can't get good faith because he's not good faith towards anybody else or himself. You know what I mean? So of course, I, of course I can be charitable, obviously, but it still doesn't change the fact that I think that, um, you know, like I wouldn't recommend dating any of these men, right? I wouldn't date a man who says like, statistically, we're probably going to break up because that's what statistics say. I wouldn't date a man who is open to cheating and says, I will cheat. I wouldn't date a man who's willing to take these logs out of context the way that Vosh is doing it. I wouldn't recommend engaging with these men unless you get STI tested and just make sure like a lot of things are discussed. Um, Vosh feels like a consent violator in a, in a really dangerous way. Steven is a consent violator, but he knows he's going to, like you know ahead of time he's going to violate your consent. Like he, he might cheat on you, right? But Vosh, Vosh makes it, Vosh will violate your consent and then make it about, like blame you for it. You know what I mean? There's something there. Vosh is really malicious, right? There's something there that's really, really malicious. You know what I mean? Um, but I would say like, again, like people who are willing to cheat are also willing to lie, are willing to do whatever it takes to like the ends justify the means. So like, I wouldn't trust that either. I just, I wouldn't trust any of it, right? I wouldn't trust it. Not Defend it the same way. Not sexual assault. Come on. Not sexual assault. Sexual harassment. Those are two very different things. No one I like is accused me. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know why I touched Sexual harassment. I don't know why either does thing. Um, okay, yeah. And a conversation where I was friends. What's neutral faith? Jack says, why is a neutral faith ever a thing? You mean before you know a person? Isn't that what we have for all of humanity? Don't we have neutral faith for all of humanity? What do you mean? Until you get to know somebody, right? What do you mean?
relationship with somebody for three or four months where they had made alternatively suggestive statements towards me that I confirmed with them were not intentions of actual sexual arousal, but were just like bants or I don't know, sometimes interpreting people's intentions is a little bit hard. Then out of nowhere, all of these conversations we'd had in the past, which I had asked her if she were comfortable with and if they constituted harassment, and she had said no. She was suddenly saying all these things were sexual harassment. She was making a huge fuss about it in her Discord, and she was accusing me not only of being a sexual harasser, not only of being a brochalist and a fake feminist and a shitty human being, but also, broadly speaking, of being sexually adequate because I have to, and I believe this may actually be a direct quote, try to coerce nudes out of sexual, or uh, sorry, out of uh, mentally handicapped girls to get his rocks off. And in the context of that argument, there were dozens, if not hundreds of people swarming around the public channels talking about how, because Poppy had made comments that were suggestive about me in public before, talking about how Poppy was just mad. Yeah, CE says Vosh would bury your body, then go on to do a charity stream. That's what Vosh feels like. That's what Vosh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Connor says good faith just means you aren't assuming malicious intent. Uh, yeah, like, I think, like, I'm pretty good faith towards all of humanity. Um, but not towards people you know the details of. But also, like, even the people you know the details of. I know so many people who are just, like, not the greatest people, but they're, like, they're not even the worst people, you know? They're just like, eh, people. They're kind of messy. Mad that I wouldn't fuck her or something like that. So in the heated context of me being fallaciously accused of sexual harassment by somebody who in the past said I had done no such thing in the moment, surrounded by people who were making fucking edgy jokes about how my sexual virility was such that she was just jealous she wasn't going to get any of it. Yeah, I made some edgy jokes about me having a gigantic fucking 30-foot penis that could... Okay, but a lot of these comments, these aren't even happening in the middle of arguments. These are you just coming out of nowhere. So Poppy talks about taking a four-minute shower. A couple people don't know that you can take a four-minute shower. People argue it. And then out of nowhere, you come in... What? Of course you can take a four-minute shower. What? 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 The poppy knows my deep dish prolapse dicking bloodline technique and blah blah blah. And this is like completely out of nowware. Like nobody's talking about this at all. And then you talk about okay. soaping up your cock afterwards. Like nobody in here is having any sexually explicit okay. conversation. Because Vosh is Vosh is like a Vosh is that boy who shows up to every conversation saying the most disgusting perverted thing. And I think he wants to be funny about it, but also more than that, it just comes off like, is this true now? You've done it too many times. I can't tell if it's true. That's what it is. Same with the PDF jokes. He would say, is he making a PDF joke? Or is he just like, which is, by the way, what I think his autism is. I'm not sure if his autism is like, I'm good. This is going to be so funny and clever. I should say this out loud. When I'm like, don't say that thought out loud. That joke is like a joke you say with friends. Like the, it takes me four minutes to soap up my dick. Like that could be funny with friends, but don't say it in like a discord where like the context isn't understood. Or um, like uh, maybe no leniency on the PDF jokes, but even PDF jokes, like, I mean, some people make weird jokes. I don't know. Edgelords are weird. I don't fucking know. But I also don't necessarily. It's like Boogie. Boogie's like when he talks about making edgy jokes, it's just uncomfortable because you're not sure where he's coming from, which is a distrust from us, by the way. We are the ones who are distrustful. So we don't know where the joke is coming from. So we could assume the worst or we could assume the best or neutral. But I would say that Vosh, I'm not sure if his like, his neurodivergent brain is like, this would be so funny. I should post this. And he has no understanding of weight. Think about before you post it. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Rock says, I uh, like he thinks he's being charming. I think he does think he's being charming. He even said recently with the lolly leak, he said, I thought people would just think it was charming that I fucked up and accidentally leaked my porn. Interesting. MMM says, but can you take a quality four minute shower? Uh, if you don't wash your hair, I think so. Go in, shave your armpits, 20 seconds, soap up your body, scrub it down for two minutes, wash off for one minute, done. Yeah, you can take a four minute shower if you don't wash your hair. Whatsoever. How do you know five minutes ago she wasn't going full fucking till against me? Like you have no way of knowing and you would never be this irresponsible about jumping to conclusions in any other case. Oh, I ooh, ooh, I love this. You would never be this irresponsible. You would never be irresponsible about anyone else in any other case. It's just me. I'm the victim. Oh, shut up, bro. I've seen you defend allegations against other streamers and I know you have a monetary interest in keeping the relationship. Whoa, oh, first no, of no, all. Hold on. This is, this is, no, no, hold on because I am upset about this. There is nothing wrong with being critical or skeptical. I am a charismatic person. It is totally possible. I am charismatic. I'm so charismatic. Bro. Well, conceivable. Destiny, pass those chips, bro. I could be using my, I don't know, charisma, my following to fucking sneak in DMs and be shitty towards people. That is a completely valid thing to think about me and I invite people to be skeptical of my intentions. What I do not invite is you platforming this on stream before getting a chance to speak to me. And as I come in to speak to you, you instantly ban me without even talking. You don't even say, oh, hi, I can't talk to you. You just summon Mr. Move. Oh, well, that's because I wasn't sure if I, that's because I wasn't, because I, I'm familiar with the way that you talk in the conversations on the logs and I knew that you would speak in a similar way right now, which you are. Um, So I, I'm a little bit well, hesitant. I'm trying to defend myself. Then again, then why ask me to defend myself if you believe that any sort of defense I can corroborate is just evidence of the charisma that I was using to engage in harassment in the first place? Maybe a morbid sense of curiosity but so, um so nikki says it's just no 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 no. it's like people 
who say it's a joke, like no matter your intention in the moment, being able to say those words in that context, you have to be racist. Vosh has to be a creep. Now nah, that's touch bubble take. No. Eh, welcome to the community. Bubble take. Nikki, that's a bubble take. We don't believe in that. Everything is a construct. Even words, we totally make them up. They don't mean anything, but they mean something. So it's a construct. You don't have to be anything in order to do anything. You would have to be able to do something in order to do something, which is not the same as being something. Being something is not required to do something. Doing something requires only the ability to do it, right? Well, no, 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 well, but that's fine, that's fine. Whoa, 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 no, 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 wait, hold on, we can't move past the fact that, wait, hold on. That's fine. You accuse me, wait, you accuse me of defending people out of monetary interest. Oh, I'm so sorry if my accusations towards you in this conversation have been wild, friend. So if you don't Well, the difference is I am substantiating mine. What do you mean, I how do you mean, some... how do you mean that I am, how, which, tell me who, which streamers you think I let slide. You're talking to the number one bridge burner on Twitch. Please tell me which streamers you think I let slide on, on things that I should be calling out on. I would love to hear this for, for financial right. motivation. Yourself. Sure. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> To clarify, broadly speaking, in the past, I've heard that you are not only not a fan of breaking news, but generally a fan of not commenting on drama as it's festering. You usually don't like to comment on something until you have both sides of the issue. I remember this from the hotel drama. You have a YouTube bot about it, where you were talking about, I don't even remember who it was, but it was a YouTube bot. You were talking about it. There was some hotel drama. Somebody accused somebody else of being weirdly quotatious or crass or whatever. And you said that you didn't want to comment on this specifically as other people came in to comment because you felt as though it would be irresponsible for you to do so without full context. In the context of that, by the way, that person was accusing the streamer of booting them out on the street for not having sex with them, engaging in behavior far worse than the worst allegations of the against me but in spite of that in spite of that difference you are still willing to give them benefit of the doubt and throw me under the bus to an audience of thousands and then ban me to keep me from talking about it so the and problem is like this isn't this well, well, you say it's just evidence of my charisma well the problem is like this isn't like just breaking news this is like literally stuff that is um that has like been boiling over for the past like few years it, no it happened once a year and a half ago and Ooh, it happened once a year and a half ago mm. then the same well but then what about what about other people in the communities? No, that's the problem. He's mm, no mm, mm, mm. person has been trying to get me in the same trouble for that length of time. And it seems that she is finally sick you to be so unscrupulous as to just dive into this. But listen, if you're only having me on here for morbid curiosity and you just think that me trying to give context to these context free DMs is evidence of my charisma, which I use to manipulate and harass women or whatever, then that's. I mean, that's not fine. I think that's really shitty. But if that's the case, then I'm not interested in discussing this. I was hoping this would be an opportunity to explain things to you, but I feel like you made up your mind. Okay, well, I think that you two should get into the hash it out, and I, I'm really curious what the full logs um, would I look like. I can, I can po yeah, I can post them to a, uh, what, what are they called? The Ooh, thing does he post the full logs? You can upload all the discussion. I'll, I'll, he made all the a spin, because I'm real curious how you yeah. could ever justify a lot of these messages are pretty yeah, no um you do recognize though that even if the worst accusations levied here are true the worst that could be accused of me is being kind of weirdly manipulative with one person over dms a year and a half ago Ooh, even at worst the worst crime i've committed is being slightly manipulated manipulative Ooh, mm. you do realize that even if everything i'm saying is a lie that is the worst thing that can be well no the worst thing is that you engage in a repeatable pattern of behavior where you try to be very sexually aggressive towards a lot of the women in chat in order to make them uncomfortable enough to send you pictures and then if they don't you either act very aggressive towards them like by telling them you can't continue conversations anymore or you continue to sexually harass them until they either give in or block you or go crazy I'm, or whatever it hasn't i mean none of this has happened that's an extrapolation that you can make based on poppy um well based on, pa on poppy the other person and other people the other and cat black and other people mm. I, i've explained in totality the other person has been explained in totality and there was nothing more to be said about that but again, um, I tried to talk about this with Poppy over a dozen times over the past year and a half. Multiple times have I tried to bring them in calls. Other people have tried to bring them in calls with me. It hasn't happened. They're not oh, so you've constantly harassed and dragged them into conversations they don't consent to being in? Interested in talking about it. I have made conciliation after conciliation to Poppy and the people who believe her. None of it seems to work because it is really, really... It doesn't feel like this man has changed, bro. He's making the same arguments about the lolly folder. And fuck the lolly. It's just like the... the, the oh, not owning it. It's not, I don't even know it's there. I don't even know what's happening. He's a pattern of manipulation. Really easy to, and he feels slimy, bro. He just doesn't feel honest. Way, I totally get this because, you know, believe women hashtag me too and shit. It's really easy to understand the narrative of a kind of like charismatic, sexually aggressive dude who goes around manipulating women to try and get them news. In this instance, I don't believe that the facts back up that assertion. I don't believe that's the case. I've defended myself on this issue multiple times. None of the drama has changed since I last defended myself about it. None of this is private. All of it is public. Um, it has only been made public as of this moment. This is why I always hold my nut when fucking unstable bitches like Poppy. Because you have now suddenly been made aware of it. Our Damn. No, I mean, I, people have been making me aware of it for a long time, but I think over the past, like, few... All related to the Poppy situation, I would, I would actually love for you to find anyone who isn't Poppy or the other person who we're trying not to name, um, who would accuse me of this. Because I, generally speaking, am very cautious with talking to people. I would like you to find anyone but my victims accusing me of this. <laughs> I was like, can I would, I would like... I would like you to find anyone but my string of victims to say that I've done this to them. <laughs> 
people because of Poppy. Poppy has taught me that you can never, ever trust people online because you can conversate with them for a long time and believe that you're not harassing them. And then after you stop being friends with them, and it says, Brittany, have you seen Vaj joke about women? And he's very sexist and I don't think he's joking at all. It doesn't matter. Everyone in this space is sexist. Like, that's not very interesting. A man being sexist is not interesting. A woman being sexist is not interesting. Most people are. Most people are sexist and racist and biased and prejudiced. And this idea that you're not is you're lying, bitch. What's your thing? Okay? You're in a menosphere space. This is a debate space. Most of the men here are absolutely sexist. Like, um, literally... Uh, I'll talk to Tom about it maybe today after stream or at some point, but Tom and Andrew were talking today about how like they don't even want to work with women because they're becoming so like insane. Now Tom's not at that stage just yet, but even Andrew's like, I'm no longer working with women. Sexism is a part of the debate space. It's literally a man space. It's literally Vosh being sexist is like saying Vosh is a, into horses. Yeah. And? <laughs> Steven had to go on an anti-misogyny arc like two years ago because his community is so misogynistic. Recently, him and Kyla, I saw this on Tom Foolery's stream, had to talk about how his audience is like 78 or 80% women and how women don't like debate spaces because it's sexist, bro. They'll try and turn everything you said against them into a mode of harassment. But I'll happily, I'll leak, well, it's not a leak, it's my logs. I'll throw the pastebin logs out there. I've defended myself thoroughly many times on this. I guess I just hoped for some kind of amicability or, or reciprocal respect from you, but I feel like your mind's made up, and that's that. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll be digging into it over the next few days. I'm sure a lot of people will be talking about it, so. Gross. Yeah, great. I really look forward to these. <sighs> All right. Um, well, I can't say that I'm especially happy with this, broadly speaking. Are there any, like, do you, what, is there, like, a question? Any other salient accusation you'd like to throw my way? Again, I'd like to remind everyone listening that the worst thing that can be thrown my way, given the evidence provided, which I would is just like to remind you, the worst thing I did, you see that? The worst thing I did, so it says 80% women, sorry, 80% men. Whatever. I have 80% women. Thank you, girls. Make sure you subscribe, ladies, so we can beat the men. But also, men, make sure you subscribe so you can beat the women. Has been admittedly cut up and out of context. The worst thing that one could accuse me of is being kind of creepy and manipulative with one person or two people, if you don't want to accept my explanation of the second person, over DMs over a period of two and a half years, or I guess two years now, because we're not all the way done with 2019. So if the worst of that being corroborated by out of context DM links is the, I like, by the way, how in the images, the DMs that were provided, they blacked out the pictures I sent them as though there were nudes there. That's really funny. Um, there's nothing nude in either of the pictures that had black bars put over them. It's funny though, it makes me look, you know, shittier than I actually came off in the context. I mean, I don't think they have to be actually nudes. I mean, you're shooting off pictures of people who are either in bed or in the shower. When they clearly said that they I was clothed and it was a picture of my forehead. And yes, the knee picture, I took a picture of my knee and it was like, ah, uh, here's the dick picture. But it was my knee. There's no nudity in the photo. I made sure of that. Oh my God, I'm so funny. I'm going to send this girl a dick pic after she asked me not to, but just jokes. It's my knee. Autism. Like, that's what I'm saying. Is he so socially inept? You know what I mean? I was very careful. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I agree. That's the yeah, I think that's probably the worst thing I did over all of this because Poppy had demonstrated no sexual interest and I had joked it. She was like, no, as long as there's no dick pics. So then I sent something that is technically not a dick pic. And the joke there is, of course, that I technically fulfilled the requirements of her request without adhering to the spirit. Now, obviously, not the best joke. I've apologized to her about it, both privately and publicly multiple times. But if that's sort of, a, if that's like across the very on, then sure. Um, I don't think that we're getting tremendously far in this discussion. Um, and I don't think there's anything I can say to you that's going to change your mind. So before I go, or before you ban me again, or I fucking know, I just want to say to people in chat, I invite skepticism and scrutiny. I am not above um, the capacity for people to be shitty towards like other people or manipulative or whatever. Everyone has the potential to do that. And you should be really screwed, really fucking incredulous. Okay, that's totally valid. However, I feel as though I have done a decent job contextualizing and explaining myself. And if you have any questions, I am streaming right now. Do you feel so, like you've been banned from other Discord servers for similar behavior because of a single person manipulating things? Or do you think you would deserve to be banned from there as well? The PolyChat server is the only other server I've ever been banned from. It was specific. He's been, he's been banned from other servers. Mantis says Brittany can bring Tom out of his jadedness. No, no, no. When Tom was talking on stream about like, I'm so close to not working with women, I'm assuming he is not talking about me because one, I am not a woman. And two, I assume he is not talking about me. I even told my husband that. I was like, well, Tom's not talking about me. So we're fine. <laughs> I know what he's saying. I don't think Tom is literally saying he doesn't want to work with women. But like, he's not talking about me. Like, I'm not women. I'm Brittany. So I know what he means. I know what kind of women he means. Specifically because of the pastel and poppy thing. It's just been these two people. There are no other people. Wait, Unless so not just poppy then, but for the other person as well, right? Uh, yes, because the other person after, because I told you, they fasted for three days after we had a conversation, which I engaged with them flirtatiously, but ultimately <sighs> said that I wasn't interested in continuing this long term because we had very different values concerning sexuality. Then they came back after three days, along with poppy. Poppy started rambling. In, I'm sorry, that's loaded language. Poppy. Wow, Conrad, I see you in chat. What a, what a mod you are, my bro. What a mod. Thank you for welcoming the new people. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, no, no, I know you don't. Care. You. All right, but thank okay. you very much for the platform. I, I hope you get better and good life on you. Okay. Thanks, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well then. 
Uh, there's uh, In terms of the autism stuff, it's impulse control. Same with ADHD. I'm looking at impulse control. I don't know if Vosh has impulse control. I don't know how disciplined he is. Like many people in this space are not disciplined people, right? That's why they always have like these controversies. They're not very disciplined. Here we are, boys. Yeah, if this isn't a one-off, he's been banned from multiple servers. I think that says a lot. Remember a long time ago when people were debating? Oh, I'm just stealing a Chris Rock joke. It was between uh, Michael Jackson and Prince. And then all the sexual assault accusations came out against Michael Jackson. Well, here we have Hassan and Irish Laddie. A victor has emerged. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus. Um, Damn. Are you going to air any of your dirty laundry now? How you've treated past girls? So in my early career, I'll be 100% fucking honest. In the early part of my career, I was incredibly fucking bad with some of the girls that I talked to, for sure. Definitely. Okay, Steven already knows he's a coomer and he absolutely needs to fix his shit and go to therapy. But that's okay. Okay, that was the video. I think we're done, right? Let me just... I don't responsibility. Complicated conversation. Like it or not, Irish was such a... But no, not now. The really vague... Okay, we don't care. I just wanted the logs. Okay, there we go. We did it. Amazing. Absolutely breathtaking. Just absolutely mind-blowing, really. Oh my God, Bartholomew, love your name. Thank you. Welcome to the memberships. I appreciate you so much. Happy to have you here. Thank you so much. Let's go. Welcome to the members. Y'all, oh my gosh. Oh, and if you guys join the memberships, go check the playlist on my YouTube page for member only behind the scenes videos if you guys want to see those. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear that, again, I need to be, in this case, pretty precise with language. I don't, I don't know if Osh is like a PDF file. I just, I'm not seeing the evidence for that. I'm seeing an evidence for a desire for power. I'm seeing an evidence of lying about things that are obviously true. I see evidence for a lot of like manipulation and abuse, emotional abuse of women in the space, like adults in the space. So I would say that Vosh is definitely a pest and you should probably stay away from him. I would love to talk to him to tell him I think he's a pest. I'm going to say it's not quite different on a spectrum from the other men in this space of being pests. But I also think like, you know, for Vosh, he's probably the worst of it. One of the worst I've seen in a long time. Out of everybody else, I could come up with a lot of reasons they're doing what they're doing. And most of it could be probably fixed in therapy. With Vosh, though, I don't know if he would ever let a therapist ever actually crack his problems. He feels like somebody that would get into the office with a therapist and like debate bro them and argue them into so much frustration that they would just give up, you know? So yeah. Okay. I'm glad we watched it. I think this is important, but yeah, Vosh is definitely something, something is uniquely different about him. Something is much more complicated about him. I'm not sure what it is, you know, but something is definitely, he's much more manipulative and much more definitely stay away from him. Girls like definitely stay. He's not just a fuck boy that will break your heart. He, he seems like he doesn't respect your, your consent in a very specific kind of way. Okay. With that said, stay away from men that will lie and cheat on you. Stay away from people that want you for your money and stay away from people that are shallow. So why's my life a mess? Please tell me cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool Dun, dun, dun.